Who's hosting it? Me. Shit, it's me. Yeah, it is. Oh. Yeah. I had something planned. I completely forgot. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, wait. Do you need the uh, notes? Give me, you have give notes? me some composure. Composure. Warm it up. Jesus Don't be Christ. like me. Don't do like uh, me. Jesus Christ is my nigga. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll allow that. Will you? That's not it. Wait. I mean, are you allowed to wait. allow that? No. It's you my do You have that? to watch the clerk's TV show first. Oh, okay. Before okay. you can make them jokes. It's going to be a long it. intro. <clears throat> wait. You can cut this out. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to watch out. clerks first. Oh no. my god, is it that? Yeah, it's pretty low. Is it? Yeah. But what about the laughter? Okay, now... Ha oh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, oh, never that's why. Yeah, I yeah, peaked it. Yeah, I'm why. sorry. That's why. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah. Steven peeking yeah. on my... And my mic oh, is it? picking up. Yeah. Holy shit. That's our sick word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to keep it in check, boys. <laughs> All right, good <laughs> Welcome everyone, welcome to episode 13 of Good Trades, the show where everyone takes damage. I'm Migoy, and today with me is Migs. Yo, what's up? Yeah, we got Rafi. Pop, pop. And we got Emil. My man. And today I'm hosting, and I have no idea how to do this. Actually, you got the <laughs> you intro got it really, really good. good. Do I? Yeah. Like, I forget the host things to do, you? except for... <laughs> You know, w what's up with your wig? Let's skip this. <laughs> That's the one obligation. <laughs> okay, I, I, I had a thing planned like four episodes ago and oh, it's, it's oh, lost. Oh, man. Dude, we waited too long. Waited yeah. too long. Mm -hmm. Stuff happened. But you are doing a really good job. Oh, man. I think you did the Don't best just... intro out of all of us so far. Uh, yeah. Mm. Let's go here and definitely. Let's play here. Bamboozle. What? Oh, oh, <laughs> trying to do my game show voice. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought we are going to. I thought you brought your. The bean your boozle? Bamboo, yeah, your bean boozle. That's for next pack. time, baby. Oh, man. Mm. Eat the rotten egg. Those are the jelly beans with the bad flavor. I yeah. heard that there was a flavor that was removed. It was like wet nappies. It was too Ugh. bad. Oh, yeah, shit. That, that was one of the ones. Wet nappies. As in, like, I think it's like the... I think oh. it's the yeah, smell yeah. of, you know, those uh, baby wipes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's that. But, but it makes you think soiled. of like... Ooh, poopy. Oh, gross. Uh, it's just wet nappies. I think. There's no I, like... I think that It's was, not soiled. It's wet, mm, wet nappies. It's Maybe a bit. Soiled. But it's, probably no, said it's, it's, the it's the smell of the, the antiseptic smell of that, the wipes. Ah, okay. That okay. makes you think it's... I see. Yeah, it is but rough. I think it's still fine. It should be so fine. It's like a yeah, wet you're wipe. eating it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but like it's a wet wipe. But I understand what he's saying. What, that you have the mental association right, right, right. of wet wipes to poopy butts. Right. Yeah. Sorry to anyone who's listening to this while eating. Poopy butts. Yeah. Poopy butts. What was Sorry, our new Carlo. episode Sorry. title that we were trying? Oh, fuck what? Oh shit! I forgot. What? What was it? Uh, there was we some had jokes it. earlier that we oh, forgot during, during, during uh, Saturday afternoon magic. Saturday, <laughs> Saturday afternoon <laughs> magic. Sam. 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 Twenty four karat magic in uh, the air. I love fudge. You know I love how we're we're like. I feel like we're all directly talking yeah. to Carlo now that we know he regularly listens to our show. Oh, now he's hey, never going to listen Carlo. to our show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Parang yung ano, sa toy stores and shit, but uh, you're just browsing people. Go hey, it's that That's first like, day. Hey, you want to buy something? Don't scare Carlo there's a, away, there's dude. an episode of Lucky yeah. Star. Dude, yeah. <laughs> when she goes to that manga shop and everyone's like, mm. oh, and you're mm. staring at her change. She's like, didn't set to the customer. Right. Yeah, and then as she's paying for something and for each, like, yen, we're oh, yeah. all staring at it. And she's missing, like, two yen. And then she leaves. Like, ah, fuck. Oh, wait. Hear it. And Carlo's gone. <laughs> Not bad. Let's, 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 oh, boy. Not bad. Oh, man. So. so many things to talk about. But I didn't do any notes today. Ah, That's why we'll start with you, Emil. Oh, fuck. Oh. Have you finished your like, homework, Emil? Have we been... Is this like class? How class? how I got Iowa are you? I, I <laughs> That's Iowa. not bad. Uh, you. Dude, like I, I feel pretty bad because I have not completed my Gundam homework. Boo. No, because like remember when I got in on it? F. When I got in on it, like I sat down and like just did it like in one go, right? Right. Mm. I have like twelve episodes to go, but I haven't gotten around to just sitting down. Cause like I've been watching other shows. I've been uh, mm. I, I've been keeping up to date with Boku no Hero Academia. Sweet I've season been... three, yes. right? Yes, okay. It's, it's super fun so far. They're 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 in 
They're in the tuning exam arc. <laughs> in the forest, <laughs> the forest arc. It's mm, it's 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 so close to the tuning exam. It's ridiculous. And mm. since Naruto is fresh within my mind, since yeah, I only here. recently watched it, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. super close to that. Mm-hmm. Um, the other show I've been keeping track of is Megalobox. Megalobox. Ooh, Still Megalobox. haven't picked up on that. Yeah, uh, Megalobox. I, I know, Migs, you have you have strong feelings about yeah. this. Yeah, so that's his homework. Too. Um, it's not really my homework, but it's part of what I do. You were shouting at it in the text chat. Dude, yeah. when you were <laughs> like in the fucking chat, you were like, like the homework I need to I talk f- about Megalobox. Yeah, dude. Megalobox. Well, the, the homework that I finished was Avatar, since I already finished oh, the last, the last oh. Airbenders. Yeah. Yeah. But mm. yeah, of we course, talk about that later. Yeah, we can wait, talk wait, about that which later. country renamed that show to Legend of Aang? Was it Europe? Really? Oh, was there? There's two labelings for that it's show. Probably in but Taiwan why? or something. I don't know. Mm. Like there's a know. there's the last airbender and then there's the legend of Aang. That sounds but like it's the same thing. That, that sounds, sounds like a European thing to do, yeah. That sounds what like what David Cage might name an uh, an Avatar game. No, he's gonna make it legend like Aang. Avatar become Beyond. bald or something. <laughs> become bald. Be- become air. Yeah, um. yeah. <laughs> become air. That's Dude. cool. Beyond bald. Yeah. Beyond, Beyond bald, bald souls. <laughs> Um, I guess besides uh, My Hero Aka and I've been keeping up to date with Megalobox, what else have I been? I fell off the Legend of Galactic Hero train because it's so old. I told you. <laughs> yeah, so I know. It's I like, told you. It's really good, but like, I it's have really it, old. It, yeah, it's really good, but it's really old in the way that when I'm watching it, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself, but while I'm not watching it, I'm not thinking about it. Huh. Like, like okay. it not, doesn't want you to go back. Yeah, it's like I'm huh. not looking forward to going back because the animation and the styles are so old that I can't like hype myself up. Isn't it like more space opera? Yeah. Also, dude, it's like super uh-huh. space opera drama military thing. Like okay. the slow kind. Yeah, it's not. You're not gonna get like there are hype space battles, but from a strategic perspective, it's like it's like haughty men in their commander chambers. With their war rooms and their barking maps, out and orders, like, Sounds great. Right. you should you, you should totally attack that guy because we never lose. And You're... some other guys like, dude, we could totally lose. And some guys like, oh, dude, I outrank you. It's it's <laughs> your Admiral Akbar and not Luke Skywalker. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, it feels a lot like Star Wars too, with the fucking desert planet and like, but yeah. like older because they're trying to do the whole like pirate captain thingy too right no it's it, 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 it feel it's, like uh, so like harlock saga no it feels like empire versus um empire versus the federation that's what it feels like because the star wars empire versus the thinking, gundam federation yeah yeah, yeah exactly okay. like that it, but it, the gundam federation is is more action based yeah because yeah they have but, robots but like one side feels like the federation because they're like overtly the good guys so you're saying this is uc <laughs> basically yeah it feels like you see except the empire isn't jank you know what i mean right because zeon's pretty jank it's pretty jank mm-hmm. that's what it feels like and all of the people from the empire side are named and sound german like like zeon so it is <laughs> oh, federation really? versus zeon, zeon is yeah the fucking unicorn the the bad guy suits have german war helmets oh i never noticed yeah. because, oh. because i started with thunderbolt and i'm used to fucking lorenz What's his name? Oh, no, like the design of Zeon is very Nazi. Yes. Oh, okay. Like Man, they're what? like their catchphrase, like Zeke. Zeon. They do the fucking yeah. high school. Oh, oh, yeah, Zeke Zeon. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, that never came to mind. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Your Nazi senses. Speaking of Nazis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of Nazis. They still exist. <laughs> Donna and I, um, because Donna hasn't watched most of the MCU. Like we, <gasps> we decided to like just sit down and watch some of the old MCU movies. So Wait, they're all on like Netflix. Yeah, now. they're all on Netflix Not now. All of it. Most well, of it. most of them. They're most coming in waves. Out there. Ah, I see. Okay. We watched like Thor. We watched Captain America. Right. We watched Winter Soldier. Seen mm-hmm. like, good one. That's okay. I was cringing that's with the first two. Like, Ooh, very good. Dude, yeah. <laughs> dude, fucking what? <laughs> why are well, na- why are Nazis so like fashionable? It's not even the Nazis; it's Hydra. Yeah, yeah they're but, Nazis. No, yeah, they're part. They're, they're Nazis. No, they're yeah, the deep they're based science on Nazi. Nazi division. But the movie wants you know like to differentiate Hydra from Nazis because. But they're basically no, Nazis. They're, 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 they're basically, no, they're, they're basically Nazis. Nazis. They're like fascists. They're, they're exactly yeah. Nazis that broke off from the Nazi regime. Yeah, right, 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 right. But at the start, they were Nazis. And that uniform is from the not like right yeah the uniform. Yeah. My whole thing is like, well, how come evil dictatorships 
always have like kick ass fashion when it comes to their military design. Oh hell Isn't yeah. That, like stormtroopers? Yeah. What's up with that? Like look at look at the like look at Star Wars. It's fucking leader hosen, man. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> stormtroopers versus the rebel forces. Rebel Dude. forces look like shit. Dude, they yeah. fucking stormtroopers are iconic, man. Like because they Christine got the money light. for it, yeah, right? For sure. And like, like even the, the captain uniforms in Star Wars are, you know, pretty still yeah. military Nazi-esque. Yeah. Dude, and like, sense. I was talking about this with Donna, and Donna brings up the fun fact that um, real-world Nazis, their uniforms were produced by Hugo Boss. Yeah! yeah. Huh. I've heard this. Wow. Yeah, I've heard wow. this. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. And, and, and that's why Nazi uniforms were so like fashionable, fashionable. and shit. <laughs> Hugo Boss. Branded, yo. Hugo Boss. <laughs> Hugo Boss putting the fashion in fascism. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. I love it. It's not bad. Um, shit. That's, that's most of what I've, what I've been getting into besides the major thing I got back into oh. these past few weeks. Oh, oh no. Which oh. is... Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Magic. Oh, magic. The, the, the gathering. Ugh, screw you, Emil. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You're the one who got into it Fucking the rope You're the same. mind sculptor. Dude, yeah. I was out of this game. Yeah, but <laughs> you brought, brought me back, back in. in. <laughs> Basically, I think around two weeks ago, Shit, I stumbled upon a really good Magic the Gathering analysis. How does that happen? You must have searched for it somehow. <laughs> no, no, no. Dude, from was... real skateboarding ah, to synthoil to, <laughs> to Chinese. Uh, food reviews now <laughs> to magic dude it was just in my recommends i have no idea i how. understand oh braille God. because i think youtube pushes them yeah exactly they do but magic yeah it was the weirdest thing it just popped up it, like it you says, must have googled the cards at some point <laughs> yeah. no no I also do not remember anything besides that youtube channel um i forgot the name of the channel but the video that got me back in was called 25 years uh framing magic for 25 years, something like that. Something like, like Interesting. around okay. those terms. Um, yeah. It's a 45 minute video of him just talking about the history of frames and art in Magic. And I'm like, oh, yo. Oh, God, that's dude, so specific. Dude, it's so good. Like, like you watch the video and like it makes you feel for like all of all of the shit Magic has gone It's through. basically brainwashing someone to play Magic again. <laughs> I wouldn't put it that <laughs> way. It could have been just oh. a video. Dude, if you, <laughs> maybe if you watched it. You will okay. understand, no, no. like because like sub I can see, subliminal messaging. I can see in, how that can work video. because, like, say Yu Gi Oh, <laughs> yeah, their new cards look way different from the older cards. Yeah. Even yeah, the backing yeah. has changed. Yeah. Makes Pokemon cards look completely different now. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen the new ones. So yeah, like new the, Pokemon cards don't even have. Borders they don't have borders shit. anymore. Yeah, yeah. Huh. It's just full art, with right. words on it. Cool. Yeah, mm. full hollow word. Like fucking, it's great. It's great. And, yeah. and like Magic is known for. At least for the most part, not changing the base design of the card. Mm -hmm. And when they do, the community freaks out. Yeah, because like right. it's iconic that way. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I didn't. I, I only learned how to play Magic today. Right. Like proper. Yeah, Rafi just taught you. Right. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I've known about it for is. the longest time, mm -hmm. but even I had the the you know the like the the belief that like oh Magic is gonna keep this design. Mm. You know, like no, it, it's, it's video, not right? gonna. Ch I watched a bit of it. Yeah, I linked it to you. And How was some, it? Like the, the first designs he showed look yeah. way different. Like, what is this garbage? Dude, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is this Windows 93 Fucking computer get game? Get out of here, buddy fight. <laughs> yeah. Hell. Vanguard. But, like, because of that analysis channel, that analysis channel is great, by the way. It's not just art. I mean, there's a whole playlist of him just highlighting specific artists for right. magic. Mm -hmm. As in, all of the magic art of this man. All of the magic art of this man. Um, yeah, is it there's, there's, there's the this film on Alexander yeah, is, at the very button nice. on the bottom left of each card. Yeah. The illustrator is there. Um, but besides those, he also has like history stuff, mm. like like oh Jace the mind sculptor. Why yeah. this card is so important, or like oh uh, because he's you and yes. you know, because he's, 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 he's sculpted us all to play magic again. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Um, you or, know what? Be before you continue, yeah. I want to ask the listeners or mm. Carlo if you. <laughs> the listeners or Carlo. We have, we, we have to like identify our fans, our our um, loved listeners. So, if mm. ever you actually, if it, if on a previous episode you catch someone in our group mentioning magic before mm. this episode <laughs> kind, <laughs> right. kind of please call, call that motherfucker out <laughs> no. what is this witch hunt because 
from what I remember, someone mentioned magic before you oh. watched the magic video. No, I yeah, don't remember dude. That. This is what happens during yeah, the synthol. Otherwise, you would have brought yeah, up that this video. Is, this is what happens during the synthol. No, uh, no, I only heard about the <laughs> video. <laughs> before you got into the synthol videos, I was talking about C4. <laughs> So how how did it happen? That how how did you get into synthol mm. is this in YouTube? CSI of recommendations. Yeah, I, I don't know if like I can't. I, I don't want to back listen to the episodes. But <laughs> yeah, 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 me. Either. My speculation is magic was offhandedly mentioned out of the show. It's probably Chad. Yeah, probably. yeah. <laughs> it's Chad. In. You think no, 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 and I, I bid it. Like, <laughs> I yeah, went yeah. for it. So I, I That's also... That's why you brought your cards the next time. Mm -hmm. That yeah. wasn't... That time... I think it was I think it's, it's before. From then. From then. then you yeah. started That's the first out. domino that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that set the yeah, planet into motion. I caught the geeking out part and like, oh, you all yeah. bring my cards next time. Gonna yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, I remember this scene of me standing up to spiral. Oh, shit, it's on. Let's go. <laughs> like, I'm gonna show them. <laughs> I'll, I'll destroy you. I have screen caps of yeah. our conversation. <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm going into. Like, yeah. Emil actually like investigated this fiasco yeah, I did, that, I that did. happened because, because you were so mystified as to whose yeah. fault okay. this is. For the record, I mm. thought it was Rafi. What? No, no, because <laughs> I was out of that there, game. I, I remember there's this, this, this no, discussion. He, he br like him bringing his cards mm. was you guys playing was the that general was impetus yeah but the, the thought was already there yeah you incepted me yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went in his dreams oh my dream. god it's like, <laughs> what a you, mind you, sculptor he <laughs> <laughs> says like Magic the Gathering is a bad game. That's why it reverse. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Bro, magic is <laughs> shit. Get what, what the fuck? No. That's my childhood. <laughs> you were saying? But yeah, that's what leads to you investigating and screen capping the yeah. whole conversation like, of like, just... I had to stroll past so many of our convos and then I, I finally get to the part where I just nonchalantly say, Hey, <laughs> were any of you into magic? <laughs> Out of nowhere. Yeah, out of, out of nowhere. nowhere. Out of nowhere. And, and <laughs> I posted it like that because the 25 years of framing magic, like, I posted that, like, I think three weeks ago. All right. And no one paid attention to that post. And I was like, Was oh. it a YouTube direct link? Yes. It that's is. why. Really? Why? Facebook, like, Facebook like, tends to like avoid those? showing that. Oh, oh for real? Because oh. it's a Holy competitor. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, Holy Google. shit. Yeah, no way. Oh, fuck. Like, and Facebook videos will get more. Mm -hmm. more They'll get way more pushed. Interesting. Shoot. Like, you notice how small the window is for YouTube links also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Like, even smaller than, say, articles? Oh, yeah, like, okay. the thumbnail is garbage. Right. Mm -hmm. We need to put good trades out on Facebook videos. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing? Yeah, we could. Oh, and man. And, like, 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 I remember posting that video, no one paying attention to it. No so one tagged. So you I was didn't like, tag anyone. I just nonchalantly said, like, hey, any of you guys are into magic? <laughs> Thinking about getting into magic? I, I feel like you were trying to push that before. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm right? like... Oh, yeah. yo, I heard Sina, other friends we don't know, <gasps> that That's I crazy. know, was in, is coming back. And like, <laughs> he's trying to lay the bait out. Oh, you know? shit. Yeah. And then, and, and then Mig says, yeah, I was the skateboard Muna. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I remember this. I remember me. this. I remember this. When you actually bought, I was like, yo, that's mm. not a skateboard. What is oh, this? Oh, right, right, right. right. You got so to commit, son. But yeah, I got back into magic. Oh boy. No, we all got back into magic. <laughs> Shit. We're trying to get me on it now. Dude. You are in I now. I have no choice now. Yeah, we gave you a deck. Right, I can't <laughs> deny it. If we gave you the D, son. Yeah, um, Monday, I went to Mega Mall to the neutral grounds. And yeah. I bought like... I bought Is it a kiosk? Those, um, it's like a small store near the food court. Like the, the mm. kiosk in the middle. Is it of the no, no, it's not a kiosk. It's, it's like a, oh, yeah, it's a shop. It's an actual shop. Mega and, Mall. Oh, is it near the it, building C? Ah, uh, yes. It's it's with upstairs the at the very games? top, across the bingo place. Right. Oh, with the right. board games. Yeah, right, near right. the ice rink. And actually, it looks like a small shop that the neutral grounds in Mega Mall. But, but it if, goes deep. If you go in, there's a there's a door that leads to a back room full of tables. 
Hey, and wizards. I, <laughs> I figured Yo. it was that. Either that nice. or okay. a storeroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And basically I went there and I was like, oh, I want to get into the new set. And But I was like, but, but I don't like any of the Dominaria sets. So I went for a ride oh. to Pixelon. Okay. And I was trying to buy just one Planeswalker deck, but Neutral Grounds was like, yo, um, we only sell these in sets. Yeah, and that's you the thing I would do. Yeah. So I'm like, I got the bright idea of like, hey, I could buy both of them, keep one for myself, and get me going in on the action as well. <laughs> so that's what I did. Can you uh... do that with video games, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, we're really deep deep into yeah. it. Yeah, like I so, know, not not deep enough. Yeah. Not deep enough. Once you start buying packs, oh, that's that's <laughs> Migs over there. Migs uh, over there. Yeah, he's, he's totally. I, I, I think we all have our magic story. Yeah, so. we do. Yeah. We do. How about you? <laughs> for me, mostly, um, the biggest pull for me was being like introduced to the EDH format because mm. what does that mean EDH means Elder Dragon Highlander Emil had dreams um, Emil had dreams Emil Earth had Defense Force Emil Dream Defense, Hunter um, <laughs> oh that's pretty sick yeah the whole thing is while I wasn't into magic a whole bunch of my friends hacker. would always talk about um, EDH and I had no idea what it was yeah and they were saying like oh uh, we're gonna make an EDH playgroup blah 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 and I like at the time, I wasn't into magic, so I was like, oh, "Okay, cool, have fun, guys." <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? This, yeah, yeah. And oh, yeah. and eventually, it got to the point where apparently Wizards of the Coast was like, "Yo, that's a cool fucking game yeah. type you guys are running. We're gonna officially support it and call it Commander." <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be ours. What's the difference? <laughs> um, no, it's, it, it's the it's exact it's same. Just, same. It's just the name change. Yeah, yeah. they made it but, official as Command. Yeah, uh, yeah. The official name is Commander, but people around the kitchen table call it EDH. And the other thing is, they start printing cards that are ju- that are useful just for the Commander. Yeah, format. it has yeah. exclusive rules. No, for but commander. what is the Commander format? Um, okay, okay, so, okay, so basically, Commander format is you form a hundred card deck. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Um, with one card being your commander, yep. And the rest of the ninety-nine cards can only be of the color identity of your commander. Ooh. So, for example, okay. you have a commander that is black, white, red. E. You can only make black, white, red cards for that deck. Yeah, for that deck. And and the other America. caveat is besides basic lands, you cannot have any duplicates. So just one of yeah. wow. just one of yeah. that's why it's called Elder Dragon Highlander because you have an Elder Dragon your commander and it's Highlander because there can only be one. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Something blood of kings. kings. Yeah. So bang. So like since you have such a thematic deck and um it's only one ofs therefore play is going to be a lot more chaotic and explosive yet mm-hmm. thematic. That's the whole thing that got me in because um, growing up with Magic, one of the formats that I really loved was yeah. like just this dumb thing we called Chaos, mm-hmm. which is which we actually yeah, yeah we play actually tested. Yeah, we. played yeah. Um, I love that because one on one is cool and all, but I like playing with like four players and then getting in on the politics of it. Yeah, of like <laughs> that was my main selling point. I was like, yo, if you don't attack me this turn, I'll do this for you. Yeah. you don't <laughs> it's like it's the best thing ever like yeah like... <laughs> it, it is like judging from experience and coming as a chaos like hater yeah kind yeah. of wow. like i, I, I really hated chaos uh before we did it last week like <laughs> in, when when last time uh, when when we were young and playing magic like turns would take so long because uh, we'd play in like Six player chaos and oh, like God. Oh, it takes that so long that's not the right. optimal number of and players like, then it takes so long to just get to your turn. I just want to put this land down and done. Yeah. <laughs> For me, probably the, the... When it gets to your turn, you're dying already. Yeah. <laughs> the best amount of players, in my opinion, is like four. Four? Yeah. That should be good, yeah. Yeah, four is the best amount. But, like, what was the thing I told you so last long. week when you were having a lot of fun playing Chaos with us? Yeah. That that, that it, It's all about the politics and the people. It is, it is, with. it is. Because last week... Miguel over here, he he had a thing in his hand that would kill both of us. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, um, and... Should I ex- explain yeah, it? Yeah, explain that. So sure. it's a com- It's a dumb combo uh, using Wrangle 
a uh, fling and a really a large big bomb. Creature, so yeah. so so he yeah. has like this like um really big creature like a 15 15 creature. Right. And he's about to attack one of us and then he has another card called fling which throws the creature at another player. Yeah, yeah. by so, sacrificing so it. So at this point our life like, our life points We're, we're like, like 15, 15 and 8 in yeah, like 15 and 8. 15 so 18, like no matter yeah. what, both of us were gonna die. Yeah. And yeah. like, <laughs> and these two fuckers are playing angel and devil. Yeah. And I'm like, between if you my attack ears. him, I'm gonna help out and and do two more damage so you can kill Rafi exactly. Oh. And like right. he's like, mm. and then eventually he attacks me, and I'm like, because he just needed to take you out, and yeah. then you're gone, guaranteed. No, but that's the thing. Right. I had a card in my hand called Terror, Destroy which it. destroys a target creature. Yeah. But I was only ever going to use it if he attacked me. Yeah. yeah. And Emil doesn't know the fling card yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the whole time, Rafi was like egging me on to defend myself. <laughs> yeah. But in my head, I was like, no, no, no. Because if, <laughs> if, if Migs attacks Rafi, he'll be forced to defend himself. He has a full hand. He can figure out something. <laughs> <laughs> so much mana. God But then, damn it. like, so it happens. This Peter Baelish. At the end of it, at the end of it, Chaos Mix, game. Mix decides to attack me. I terror his creature, and then he flings the, the creature, creature at me him. instead. Yeah. And yeah, I die. This. And then as soon as I die, Rafi shows me his hand, and it's just full of swamps. And I'm like, fuck you! <laughs> you got played, I son. Got super played. <laughs> Like that's probably gibberish to anyone out there. That you got killed magic. by real estate, dude. I got killed by real estate. <laughs> yeah. We put that in. Totally, but that's the next thing I drew for forest. Then <laughs> I just have five lands dude, that, in my that, hand. That phrase "purulupa," yeah. I've heard that before. It never made sense. Yeah, until yeah. Until yeah. now. Fucking Emil and I were playing Magic while Rafi was playing Monopoly all this <laughs> time. <laughs> all this time. And we were, me and Rafi were just talking about how we don't fully understand Monopoly. <laughs> yeah. Until that Yu-Gi-Oh! Me not Monopoly we saw earlier. Man. Oh, <laughs> like, I guess man. it's time. That probably sounds like gibberish to anyone that doesn't play Magic. Right. Yeah. But, like, um... The trust who me, do, it's that's a fun. Funny story. Yeah, trust me, it's amazing, it's fun. And that's the main thing that attracted me to the EDH format. Mm. Because it, uh, in my head, it sounds like Dungeons and Dragons, but streamlined and PvP. Because your deck is basically mm. your character. I and guess. your cards are your actions, right? And then you're just fighting another thematic deck, right? You know what this sounds like to me? Mm. Smash with items on. It's not bad. It's not bad. Like it's mm. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like Battle Realms. Battle no, Realms? no, <laughs> no. Because yeah. Rafi is too strong. Rafi's <laughs> not fun. Which is true. This is. <laughs> no, think about it. Like oh, think about in in think Commander about and in Brawl format okay. right now, mm. the most popular decks are usually tribal decks, yeah, meaning sure. they're thematic, which is right. like vampires, pirates. Clerics. So you have wolves, werewolves, yeah, uh, yeah. the Kamogawa, samurai. This is basically the wolves, the werewolves, the Japanese, yeah, <laughs> Japanese tribal decks. Tribal you know, decks. you yeah. know, the Japanese. So. And the I Nazis. Oh, I think this is like a Warcraft. Trying. Basically, this is like a Warcraft game. I think what you're trying to say is like, magic cards. like the clans yeah. of Battle Realms. Oh, you're talking yeah. about the Hell theme. Yeah. I'm talking more about like the concept. The yeah, concept. Because like one-on-one -on -one Smash is all serious and quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once you throw in like a third person, it becomes like, oh, what's going to happen? I'm going to hit you. Uh, that Start is doing true. stupid shit. Mm, yeah, think, yeah. That's, that's super applicable too because in a four-player game... Your deck might be strong against one player, but not against three. Yeah, right? yeah. it's gonna fuck up your mind right, no yeah, matter right, what. Right, right, right. And so that's where the politics comes in. It's like yeah. you start forming alliances and <laughs> exactly like and in Smash. Like who's the highest damage? Let's gang up on exactly. him. Exactly, that's yeah. what happens. Yeah. Let's beat and him up. If you up. play too strong, people will gang up yeah, on you yeah, too. Yeah. So you, you just want to keep it cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, like, that's just, why just lands. That, you know? <laughs> just lands. <laughs> just lands. <laughs> just swamps. Anyways, keep it low key. That, that's why EDH yeah. is so appealing to me, and I can't wait to get into it. And that's basically been my week. Really... All right, next up. <laughs> yeah, oh, those things. Oh, yeah. That's my job. Yeah. Migs, let's go to you. All right. Because yeah. you want to talk about that, that anime with the boxing uh, robot friends. Actually, to kind of segue into magic also, since oh, Emil, I feel like, we, I feel has... like we, we all have magic stories. Yeah, which is really great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, to segue into Emil's EDH um focused path to magic <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. mine was a bit different 
because um, was it a downfall? You, you started buying boosters. I was <laughs> getting really competitive. I told you no. You started Actually, going through you know. magic I casual. Boosters. No, no, boosters hell? was that. That was the last of it. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last. I'm clean. I was, that sounds like something. I was, like was, drug addict. I know. I know. Say. Hey, man, take, C4. But <laughs> <laughs> I just need to take the but, edge off. No, no. So you just admit so, to it. Yeah, so, first the supplements, now the magic. Card. So like, bef- like the first time that we mm-hmm. actually group up for 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 magic yeah uh emil and rafi brought their fucking <laughs> quote unquote standard decks Wait. they were standard During... <laughs> before dog they're all fair they like used to be they standard. used to be standard at one point my deck was all in one block <laughs> yeah me too back okay. in my day back in okay my day. okay and uh of course i tried i i tried to tell them that, all right I'll, I'll try to you know nab my old mirrodin deck because you guys are playing <laughs> standard uh, uh yeah, they're yeah. playing modern With or uh quotes. legacy <laughs> or vintage or whatever so i tried scr- like i tried rummaging through the old uh, mm-hmm. deck boxes and mm-hmm. i found nothing okay. so <laughs> i just used any card i could find to form a, a viable 60 60 <laughs> card oh, deck okay. and during the first time we all uh played magic and that was yeah. i really ate it hard yeah and so like you even asked for advice from Rafi and me, like to look at the construction. Yeah, of the it deck. was really bad. Yeah, we were like staring at their <laughs> mana base. And we were I like, was. Hmm. There's nothing here. Yeah. Well, how did you survive <laughs> like, back in the day? Like, like before. His cards I, are gone. B- before I was like I was running uh, affinity decks yeah. with with Broodstar as my as my shenanigan. Mm-hmm. And you're you're so. talking to us about our decks being unfair. Like fucking <laughs> affinity <laughs> kills you in three turns. <laughs> You know, ridiculous. Still, still, ridiculous. That's why he gave it up. I guess. Yeah. Still, then of course that that prude star was gone already, and what I tried. I tried to check out. Oh, what are the other uncommons I have? Oh, talisman of dominance. Hmm. <laughs> this looks okay. this oh, looks useful. Uh-huh. Okay. So from what I <laughs> from what I understood, <laughs> yeah. um, if you Died. use one of either a swamp or an island mm-hmm. uh, you damage an enemy mm-hmm. but Good i guess Christ. i didn't or read that well hard, yeah <laughs> so it's basically it was uh, happening yeah. earlier today as well so yeah. when i when i showed rafi what it was like my trump card okay. during that first meeting of playing <laughs> she just shrugged it off like okay Okay. Yeah, I was, I, I was being polite. Like I, I gave the respectful like shrug. The respectful. Like, no, the yeah. respectful shrug. Like yeah, mm. Rafi was just like, all right, all right, you but, can do that. In my head, it's yeah. like, hmm, I'll say good. Bomb combo. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So why playing? Why play? What happened? You realize this? So I realize it's like I I I put the talismans down. Then when I use it, I was like. Deal hmm. damage, right? I uh, I deal damage to you. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's an O. Mm. Deal damage to you. Yeah, to Get me. So, yeah. so basically... Tap, add mana. Deal damage to you, the yeah. controller. Yeah, so... For what? Yeah. What's the payoff? For the mana. For... Because... <laughs> so you were just using it wrong. Yeah. Using it as yeah. a... La- basically, Talisman of Dominance gives you either a black or an isle a, a, yeah. a black or a blue, blue. mana mm-hmm. in exchange for one, <laughs> for, life. for one life yeah, yeah. for one life. So, but, uh, but you thought you were taking away I, I the opponent's I was taking life. away the opponent's that life that sounds really strong yeah. Yeah. I know <laughs> so, like, you fix so, your mana and do damage holy shit <laughs> what happened to your old affinity deck uh it, it got lost oh. like it, it, oh, it got really lost to the ages. well you know like it was just some kid it, in school let's beat him up no no, no. Did, it, it, it was basically taken to the dark dimension it was basically just <laughs> to the Yu-Gi-Oh with, card with, shop. With, with old stuff so it was just long forgotten oh, got wiped with your like old transformer toys and shit uh did, did probably Catholics take it? <laughs> <laughs> whoa what's with that's Catholics? still happening today man Dude, oh, dark man. souls is evil Dude, for real Dude, what back... really they have that thing now oh yeah how do they ever see it though i didn't Dude, i haven't because heard of this it's one dark and has demons yeah. Yeah. like like that's, the that's like the most memorable things that i know of the catholics attack was diablo and D and D. Oh, Diablo. 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 It Diablo. has Diablo. like the title. Yeah, Diablo. it's hard. To, it's hard to Diablo. defend Diablo. Diablo. Hard to defend yeah. But but D and D, like, come on, yeah. 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 like and swords and shit. Dude, I have really bad memories of like because back in the day, I was a kid and 
We will, of course. Oh, God damn, everyone was back a kid. in the day. That was back a bad sentence. Anyway. No, no. Back in the day, you were still an old man. <laughs> Shit. Mm, you were a vampire. Be- back in the day, when the first jingles <laughs> sprouted <laughs> he up, he was the source. <laughs> he was patient zero. <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> Anyways, I was a child, right? And I hadn't gotten into magic yet, mm-hmm. but I remember an older student gave me a magic card of his. Because, like, oh, hey, shit, uh-huh. was he your Yugi? <gasps> no, yeah, like, he gave me one card. <laughs> okay. Just like, just like GX. <laughs> and, yeah. And, <laughs> like, it's an, the first episode of Yu Gi Oh! GX was like this. <laughs> and I forgot With what the wingman or what? Um, who he was, or like, because we weren't very close. <laughs> wow. Well, but, but the card he <laughs> gave me. Are you sure me, he wasn't trying to go for something else? <laughs> no. <laughs> he wanted the D. But the card he gave me was this black card called, I think it was called Living Dead. Ooh. And, and. <laughs> edgy um, I bet he had no friends and like, like the art on it was like a bunch of skeletons having a having a party no, that and, sounds like, cool I thought it was the coolest thing it was just a bunch of skeletons in the moonlight having a party and it was so a card you... called Halloween dude and like I fucking love that card and I just kept it in my wallet all the time oh. and eventually I don't know how it happened yeah. but there was an inspection because I grew up oh, in a Catholic oh shit school. oh no, no. there was no. an inspection no. and they went through my wallet and, and they Christ took it they, they, they took my one magic oh, card oh shit sucks. and I think that planted the seed of when I when I get bigger I'm gonna buy magic cards when I get bigger <laughs> I'll get that card back <laughs> mm-hmm. is this it? No, no. Okay, no, it's no, probably no. a reprint. It's like actually. This skeletons. makes for great audio. Did, dude, Sorry, yeah. we'll put it in the link. Them. <laughs> That's for our yeah. next yeah, show yeah, yeah. in April. Dude, so, yeah. so anyway, I got beat really hard by Raffi and his black deck. And then when <laughs> the black <laughs> deck. But, but the worst part was when Emil got into the party and he showed me this his black white cleric deck. It was. Yep. It was yep. really op. What like, do you it was, mean op? It was op for me because my deck. Yes, <laughs> though. It was OP for me. <laughs> kind of like how BS pop- combos. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the, but, it's but a yeah. turtle deck. But yeah, after that one, so I was like, hmm. Is that your wardrobe it was, style? Yeah, basically. Like, I was... <laughs> turtle deck. Turtle I was deck. really, like, um, yeah, I think I can, I can play another round of Magic. And eventually, it got me hooked by just, just, just researching it's stuff. It's fun, right? Researching is great. Yeah. And to, and to the point that you know, um, okay, let's try to go into one of those F and M um, shops right. or or Friday lo- night local magic. local card shops that Shit. support Friday Night Magic, right? And and um, <laughs> that's why this exists. Shit. Okay, thank you. All right, holy so, balls on fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wasting battery. I was just wasting battery. I Te- wasn't wasting battery. I technical wasn't difficulties. Technical aside, difficulties. It's it means okay. I have to turn on his mic. Oh, yeah, oh, but his Christ voice lives on. on. But also, my boss. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. You're saying? Thankfully, it's you. <laughs> yeah, thankfully it's you. If it's me, <laughs> if it's this oh, yeah, podcast, it's anyone else, would have been bad. Or sa akin lang puro. Long now. Actually, anyway, it gradually saying? lower. This so yeah, Sunday. so I so I tried going to a local card shop that supports Friday Night Magic. Yeah, you're way ahead of us because like because I was me no, and Raffy. He was on a mission to FNM. beat you guys. I was on a mission to be competitive, <laughs> and my mindset was I'm going to go participate in a standard format instead of EDH. Okay, because mm. that's that's the thing that I'm used to during standard, college yeah. days. Uh, standard or modern, yeah. which is basically Fox versus Fox Final Destination. Yeah. So, so you're I, not wrong. I, I don't play that kind of oh, anyway. Oh, stock eighty six okay. and Akira. Mm. Shit. Yeah, I guess. There you go. Then yeah, um, I just went into this local card shop, and then in my mind I was like, oh, welcome to our sanctum sanctorium. <laughs> would new you like? Boys? Would you like to to look into our spell book of t- of knowledge? Are you doing gold bloom again? And then. <laughs> And then afterwards, I was like, um, I was like, hey, I, I'm, I just got into magic again. Um, okay. I need some help. Like, uh, <laughs> I need some what help. do you like, like, <laughs> no, like, like? What decks do you recommend, or what are what are some good, um, you know, uh, good decks that are on sale right now? So because I have no idea what, mm-hmm. uh, exactly. what there is in the, the scoop on the decks, bro. Yeah, I just want to know what's the new meta. Uh, not really, but mo- mostly what are the Planeswalker decks that were, 
that they are selling. Mm. Yeah. And and the owner just handed me those free demo decks that they use in the event. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, those okay. are called welcome decks. Yeah. So, wow. So, yeah, yeah. So, so he handed Are there me... other games that do this? No. I, like, I'm not sure, but Wizards Can we of get the... one free deck for each <laughs> TCG out there? Like, like <laughs> Wizards of the Coast and sell them. Um, explicitly does this. Yeah. They partner up with stores and give them welcome decks. And if the stores are of good nature... Yeah, they will uh, give th- it. Those decks are meant to be given to new players to get them into Magic. Uh, but some bad stores, what they we'll, do... We'll oh, it they screw it apart. They'll straight oh, up no. take it apart, repackage it, or sell it. Yeah, yeah, Fuck. yeah. But yeah, anyway, they gave me, like, like the shop gave me two welcome decks, which is basically oh, double four colors. Yeah, Dude. four colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it so, like two per deck? Yeah, two per deck. So... From there, I started building this pseudo um, With, wizards black black blue uh, wizard deck. Cool. Sweet. Which was like during the second week when we were doing the chaos one, like the, the chaos mm-hmm, games. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I was feeling pretty um, okay now with the deck that I have <laughs> compared yeah, to the, the word. Mm, more no confident. no seriously just okay because I'm, not, I'm not that confident because it, it isn't Wait, really that good because welcome decks are usually just shitty mm. cards mm-hmm, most of the time are. they're just basic, um, low cost basic, super bombs basic. and um, one one they don't even have play sets in that and in, in, in those decks mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, because of the nature of just a 40 card deck so they they, they don't really complete um, cards as play sets there yeah but yeah after that after the chaos event that happened i started instead <laughs> instead of buying boosters because i i also bought a booster card yeah you've been I, buying a booster pack mm. when 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 the owner got me this free deck so oh so get another one bilhin na rin ako ng dominaria booster para lang may may you know yeah, yeah. may dominaria cards oh yeah so i did <laughs> that that's how they get you yeah, that's how they <laughs> yeah, get you man yeah, get i know you. i know but yeah, after a, after Chaos Weekend, um, I just started going to these um, these neutral ground bran- uh, branches mm-hmm. in malls, and specifically in ATC, is where I kind of experienced that 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 feeling of just going to these local card shops, yeah. is there, is there meeting card strangers. Shop still in the same place? Because uh, I know like ATC has had neutral ground. I think they moved yeah. just a time. few like a few stores away Easy. from the original one but yeah like the feeling of just going to to these card shops i'm eating strangers and mm. you know um playing a game of magic with them and trading cards with them or buying cards with them that was right. that was really cool Super like fun. that was yeah. really fun and um that's something that i really am looking forward to every time i go to to local card shops now cool and um <laughs> unfortunately this friday well yesterday um I I got back to the original card shop. Yeah. That the owner gave, like the card shop that who gave me those uh, demo decks. Mm-hmm. Right. So nobody went to the Friday Night Magic. <laughs> so, nobody oh. went to Friday Night oh, what? Magic. Why? Nobody, yeah, I don't know. Why? Um, but were they there the week before? There were like five people when I went there first time. Not a bit off day. Yeah. Or, and then okay. nga, when I got there, it's the same guys. Yeah, and they said that oh, like, kumbaga, traffic is a is a area, and most of the people who wish to play were all stuck in traffic. Mm. And wow. I think they have an event today, which is a standard tournament, which is mostly what people are aiming to go to. Okay, yeah. so yeah. that's the thing. So they were preparing. So it's like okay, I'll just go, uh, just buy a few singles, and just get out of here. And I go to new grounds and check out their Friday night magic during Fridays. Mm. I'm saying new grounds. Yeah, new uh, grounds. New grounds. Ground, sorry, new Shit, grounds new is a flashlight. Flash sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, Carlos. Hi, Carlo. <laughs> Carlo. Oh god. <laughs> We gotta uh, talk to our listeners. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I love si Carlos because he's a big yeah. fan of new, new Grounds. Mm, mm, Carlos sorry, Hernandez, <laughs> New Grounds fan since uh, 2008. Oh, don't, don't look up my old New Ground shit, please. <laughs> but Dude, yeah, like, I, like I find it super interesting that you went like the local game store route, right. wherein you like you actually go out to meet the people, like yeah. hang out with them because. What I took away from it was like the opposite side of the spectrum. What I was an evil guy. No, 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 no. Like <laughs> buy you, boosters instead. No, you got into the actually going to the stores, actually going to the places and shit like that. 
But uh, the part I got into was taking advantage of all the resources that weren't available when I was a kid. Because mm. back when I was a kid, like all I had was talking to the local game store people. All I had was talking to my friends. Uy, right. what's a cool card? Then I'm going to talk to my It's okay. a talisman of dominance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shit like that. But, but what I was thoroughly enjoying was... Um, basically, while I wasn't playing Magic, yeah. all of these Magic websites started popping up. Right. Mm. All of these, like, um, MTG Goldfish, EDH M- Rec, um, yeah, yeah. Um, Top Deck, Top Deck, Deck. Deckstats.com, all of those cool sites. Si- Dude, wow. Deckstats.com, wow. man. Six inches, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, all of these sites have, like, detailed information about, like, the cards, the sets, even, like, current MTG Goldfish too. even has current prices. Right. It's like, helpful. Not Which is just, very helpful. Like, not just prices of the paper cards, but also the I'm MTG online, online cards. Right. Yeah. I mean, right. uh, like... Digital cardboards. Yeah, I wouldn't advocate for MTG online. Nah. Because, like, the feeling of cardboard is just so much funner. Yeah. 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 The for smell sure. of it. Is yeah. Yeah. For sure. Just, like, yeah. And, smell and of boosters, it, baby. And, like, mm-hmm. it's in your hands. You get to see it, You like, can lick easily, it. Yeah. Mm. As you do. I mean... As you do. I mean... Yeah. You can spread it all over your body. No judgments, oh. right? Yeah. Sure. Bathe in it. Bask in it. <laughs> what do you call Magic it? Magic the Gathering. That's how you form a bond with your cards. <laughs> for Hearthstone, it's already kind of weird, right? I mean, you can play Hearthstone completely free. And it's all digital cards. Oh, right? man. Uh, but you can buy packs as well. But in Magic the Gathering Online, um, you can trade and sell those cards, which is the main difference. Because Hearthstone doesn't allow you to trade. Right. Mm-hmm. No. Like, so if you want a specific thing, you're going to have to get lucky. Yeah. yeah. Or you're going to have to forge it using the... Yeah. I think that's the worst part but about At the very Hearthstone. least, Hearthstone is only in a digital format. Exactly. Right. Yeah. exactly. So like what you get there, that's all you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This one is like... But you, like you prefer having the real cards. Exactly. And I have to spend money again for a digital version. I think with yeah, the new cards... Fun. With like the newer sets of magic, if you yeah. bought the cardboard, and you're yeah. like, you can scan it code. into the online. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's better. Yeah, that's yeah. something that I so actually better. dreamed of. Like, but what have, have you like, from like Marvel comics or DC comics where uh, you just scan like this bar, the, like this code or input a code so that you yeah. can have the digital version of that comic? That would be right. cool. Yeah. If they have it on magic, then that will be really nice. No, but like, what's stopping you from like looking up an image of the card and then? I mean, that's called a proxy. Yeah, like like that's 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 right. the age old practice of yeah. looking up an image, printing it, yeah. or in Rafi's case, drawing it Fuck himself. Fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> light, yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah, dude, yeah, fucking have a yeah, yeah. set of yeah. lightnings in the back of his binder. It's like hand drawn. I would use I that. Show you. My strongest dude, magic right. card is Super Saiyan Three Son Goku. <laughs> dude, <laughs> that blight thing's a real card, though. No. Yeah. it's a real. I mean, I would use Rafi's Blightning and, <laughs> and just a real see the reaction of, tokens, of random right? strangers. Like, what is this? Blightning, bro. Lightning, Lightning, you don't know what it is. bro. Kagi standard, that's it. Anyway. That's it. That's it. Ah, God. But yeah, I think, Emil, I, I get what you're saying. That um, before, like in college days or high school, we don't have the luxury of actually buying cards because right. we had no money yeah, yeah, no money nope. yeah we we're just students but now mm. it's like <laughs> the power the power is ours but, i don't know like, like kinda, that's the type are we too old to play card games no no, no never never really. too it's, old. Never this too is a old. hobby like Fuck. first of all this is a hobby it's something that you we're get to enjoy in a minute with no money <laughs> right beat them with cards this is going to be beyblade all over again <laughs> oh dude what <laughs> age limit your beyblade <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, that's it, it, that's it, why it I never felt. stopped Louis. <laughs> like that's why I feel like um, before I didn't get to enjoy magic that much during college because I was I was focused on college. Yeah, broke and, ass. Like a loser. Um, <laughs> <laughs> focusing like on your loser. studies. That's why I got yeah, you should good. Be going after girls. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um, but now when we have have our jobs and our mm. our paychecks, mm. so my taxes and it's weird. <laughs> It's weird because it's like magic before was quite expensive. Like, how much is a booster Actually, pack? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like two hundred. I remember one hundred eighty. I okay, remember yeah. one hundred eighty. And now it's one hundred seventy. Fair enough. Mm, right. Counting inflation. Yeah, and 15, 15 like cards. Got yeah. for, for one sure. booster pack. Like, how how many booster packs are? Like, how many cards are there in one booster 15. pack? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. Fifteen okay. cards, one rare. 
Two as uncommons, one, three one uncommons? Gar- usually two or three. Two or three uncommons and one guaranteed rare. One guaranteed yeah. so, rare. Like before, that's like a fortune for us, you know. But now it's just, okay, it's we, can, we can basically afford this one. But of course, if we just buy it yeah. smart. I mean, you know, if you think like, about it, one booster is a Baconator. Yeah. That's it. It's that's an true. expensive fast food meal. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is an expensive fast food meal. But it's still equal to a burger. That's right. Mm-hmm. And if you need more your burger, <laughs> you, yeah. you get the pack of magic cards. That was healthy, ka pa. This was, this was, <laughs> this was ka pa. exactly... Healthy, pero hungry. Mm-hmm. This was exactly our thinking when we first got into magic cards. <laughs> <laughs> we'd, we'd spend our recess money. Like, we, we got into it, right? Someone bought a deck and we played with it and stuff like that. And like, dude, we bought our cards. Gamitin natin yung pera natin na pangkain. Spapayat na nga tayo. Mas <laughs> <laughs> may cards pa tayo. Dude, Pero that it I didn't understand. work. Kasi... Tigutom ka yung masyado. Yeah, like kung... <laughs> yeah, actually, ang, ang ano pala namin... No, it was the reverse. Like, let's not eat to save money for cards. Oh. Like, what is happening? No, that's right. <laughs> Shit, no. It is. Kind that, of, that's what ended up sense. happening. Yeah, yeah. I had the story. All right, let's save <laughs> let's save money for food, but instead we eat. No, your bowen would be <laughs> would be cards. Yeah, you just wouldn't spend it, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Then your right. mom goes, <laughs> No. No, here, here, here it is. What here's what it was. Um we'd play magic during recess, so we'd save up our money. So that you wouldn't spend so to eat. we won't spend it. And then you mm-hmm. use that money but, to buy cards. That that that's what ended up happening. Like napunta rin sa cards yung nas nasim oh, na. The oh, idea yeah. was yeah, the idea was we just save money. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and then it backfired because we got super into magic. Tapos parang mm, <laughs> you can be sell nice the cards. Where does my money go? Back. <laughs> but yeah, after that one, I got my like I got a probably you can say a new deck. Yeah, and at least Brand this at this. least yeah. For this one, it, I'm really satisfied of what happened, like cool. what, what what I got from that deck. It's so yeah, good. I mean, it's looking good, played yeah, against it. So I far, can't wait to play against it later. Yeah, yeah. So far, Magic is enjoyable for me. Yeah, so yeah. super. I really love um, the standard format, and as he as he looks it to me, yeah, and, really pushing and, it. Uh, yeah. No, I mean the new block and the new cards E-D-H. right now. E-D-H. So E D H. You shut E-D-H. up too. <laughs> Yeah, but but yeah, for EDH probably I'll just slowly go on building it because it's really uh, it's really a big deck. It's, a, it's, it's actually yeah. it's ninety nine cards. cards and yeah. it's hard to, to shuffle like, ninety nine cards. No, but not, not, just, one. <laughs> not, not just not just to, sh- to shuffle, but like it's hard to build it like buying the the pieces. Yeah, because yeah. because for me that's why I am entertaining the idea of it. Because you have so many cards. Because I have so many cards, and it's like I feel like it's a challenge to like see the perfect fit of one card. Yeah, for into, that for the collection you have. For, yeah, and like to build to build a deck of onesies, but like fit a, th- a theme yeah. around a, a certain card, like exactly. the commander. And I I just love the challenge of it. And it's like I I ended up putting together my commander deck without spending a single cent. Yeah, so that's that's why yeah. commander is guess, appealing to black. me as well. Mm-hmm. It is black. <laughs> I'm yeah. a black green boy, so that's one of the things that also appealed to me because I have so many clerics in my like yeah. Yeah. in my pile, so I can make yeah. a cleric commander deck without yeah. spending up like a fucking dime. Right. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> so so if you're going to assemble like your onesies from scratch, I feel like it's not as right uh, appealing of an experience because yeah. you're gonna have you don't to don't have end the up... archive to yeah from. right, and you're gonna buy onesies of like. 99 different right. cards. That's gonna add up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, if you don't too. have the experience, you might fuck it up. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, but what's important for Commander is it's a casual format. Yeah. So right. It's super, it's casual. super casual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really so, like, a fun game. I have this idea of like, what does Friday Night Magic look like if it was, you know, real wizardry and stuff? Ooh. Like a bunch of wizards wearing robes of their deck color. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Start doing sick spells. Yeah. yeah. Then after this epic fight, like, okay, see you guys next week. Yep, yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's so cool, that's though. basically it, though. Yeah. Are we going to so, do that? You guys want to grab geez. a bite? I'd do it. <laughs> you guys want to get I mean, wizard robes? I still have that excellent pirate cap <laughs> from last year. Do you? 
Yeah. We gotta make like a real prop talisman of dominance. <laughs> oh no. Oh dude. <laughs> this is it. Oh shit. Dude, in my EDH deck, I'm gonna include that shit. <laughs> just, just to spite you. So it'll be our downfall. What yeah. would like a casual uh, EDH fight look like? Like, with I imagine it's jeans? long. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wizards okay. wearing jeans. Uh, we, we could. Casual yeah. EDH. Hmm. 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 What would that look like? Because because it would be like a Ready Player One level of war. Yeah. Yeah. Know, yeah. 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 No. Casual No, it's like Barcada versus Barcada, because it's all one ofs. Yeah. <laughs> right. But so it's like yeah, it's like a, it's like a Barcada <laughs> of one hundred no. versus a Barcada of one hundred. Mm. Or like he's your your commander's got like. A set of books, like <laughs> his spell books, like in in a wagon behind him. Yeah, just dude. throwing the books. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. What does this one do? Oh. No. Like, I just got. I just had a thought of just looking into binders is equivalent to looking oh, into God. to wizards tomes. Yeah, and, I mean mm. that's the whole thing. Yeah. You, you mm. call your deck your library. <laughs> yep. Sorry. It's so nerdy. It's, it's disgusting. You just have one book that's put cards. And like, yeah. here's my spell. Mm. <laughs> yeah, cause, rats, cause, rats, cause rats. Your cards oh, are, man. Crap. Your card, your, so your library is like uh, your deck. Your, your, your deck. deck. Yeah. And your that's spell where book. all your... No, there's... What's cool is your hand is like where you keep your spells. Like, so individual cards are spells. Mm. And like, there's this... There's this card uh, back then that's called a spell book. Mm. That when you cast it, you have no maximum hand size so it's like putting no, all your spells yeah. in your it's super in thematic your and yeah. like it's really cool one of the mm. things I love about magic is the idea that you are a wizard no like the idea well it yeah is. of course you're no. a wizard of the coast no um <laughs> Ari. the part I really Ari. found cool when I was learning about magic was yeah. the idea that you guys are fighting on like a plane right yeah, yeah. and you're you just... surround yourselves with lands of your mana color right. and then you sap those lands yeah, right. for energy yeah, right. and yeah, like right. the, to me i was like in my head there's this cool ass wizard standing on top of like a murky ass swamp like yeah. gathering black yeah. man yeah. And flinging skeletons and zombies what if, yeah. what if like um a green mage Takes from a forest. Does everything die for that one turn? <laughs> oh no, I don't think so. It just taps so. into the. It's man. like yeah. the opening of Bambi. <laughs> opening of Bambi. No. I don't think he takes like a- away from from the thing. He's just tapped into the yeah, power yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of like glow for a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll just yeah. Glow. Oh, you stop casting back to normal. <laughs> But like yeah. it's a deer taking a shit and like oh, oh not not no no not no. Oh, no don't take my green man clench clench <laughs> is, is there a not spell named clench <laughs> is, is there a spell named clench I am clench? sure someone clench. out there has made a spell named clench, clench. I'll draw it is it I'll, I'll starfish probably draw it oh, in the hot dog but yeah with water. Um, I think aside from magic shit so I've finished Avatar at last Ooh. it was really good super good so yeah. good like uh, I. I really like how Zuko was like convert, converted yeah. from from Fire Nation to Team Avatar. Oh yeah, and it was a really awkward. It was super um, awkward. Meetup. The way he joined, it's like it's awkward like, teenager problems. Like how he introduced himself, like, "Hey, hello there. My name's Zuko. It's like a YouTuber or yeah. something." <laughs> and like, we and, know you've been trying to kill us for the what's past up, guys? few seasons. Yeah, something like that. But on greetings, my name is Zuko. <laughs> I'm now Alien well I'm a good guy, guy now. now. I'm a good guy now. This is it's just really nerdy of, of Zuko. Well, we felt bad for him yeah. because of how awkward it was. Oh god. <laughs> but yeah, I really love how like there there's this episode in season three. Like I'm I'm gonna talk about season three for a while. It's right? fine, the um, show is like 15 years old. Yeah, there's this episode where where Zuko's um fire um bending skills are kind of rusty yeah and he needs to find a new source besides his anger to kind of channel oh, yeah, fire yeah, bending. Yeah, yeah. So, so ang and zuko went to this um sun what's this what's this tribe uh, like it's some sort of like a tribe who worships the sun is this the sparky boom boom man? where, where no, they no. did the dance no? at the end right? yeah the dragon dance the dragon oh, dance and it's re- it was a really cool sequence because um they kind of showed like ancient dragons that they thought were extinct, right. but actually oh. just hides in mountains. <laughs> so they just learned the dragon dance. The uh, the dragon dance. Yeah. yeah. And when they like started that. doing that, they came out. Yeah. And because Ang was trying to learn firebending. Yeah. 
So, so they had a purpose for so that. That was a really cool episode. Another good episode that I got out of season three was actually a Soka episode, which was it's, when he was when he meet his uh, sword master. Dude, oh, dude that was a really good episode. Like, dude, I got it. So yeah. And yeah, the meteorite sword that he forged is mm-hmm. basically Pandai. <laughs> yeah, it's basically, basically right? Pandai. They right? stole right? But it. Right? But it was really cool because um, in the end, they reveal that the sword master was part of the it's White Lotus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it was exactly. really like a cool nod to Uncle Iroh too. Right. And they were secret good guys. Yeah. That couldn't keep their chess pieces in wherever. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Iroh <laughs> keeps losing at the oh. oh, it was just in my sleeve missing. all along. Oh, God. Like, what a fucker. <laughs> okay. So, the ending, I really love uh, the, the the last two episodes of season three. They, Wait, they have can, a lot of action. Can I just action. say how dumb the rock representative is in the Avatar state? Yeah. It's it just swirling it's just rocks really around. around. So yeah. Basically, like, ah, he's, yeah. he's like an, dun, he's like Captain dun, Adam, like a lot of right. Dun, with dun, each dun. swirl representing like the element, but yeah. like the Earth part is just rocks. <laughs> yeah. Come yeah. on, guys. Mm-hmm. But um, there's this. I have just one question. Oh, what? Hit us in the finale. What the hell happened to Azula? She went nuts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but crazy. Because of her mommy issue. Remind so, me what is no, it? No, no. Because what happened again? What happened was. Uh, Diba, it's Zuko and uh, Azula. Ka- what's it? Katara? And Katara, yeah. Katara yeah. versus Azula. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Katara beat Azula, and then like she went nuts a bit. Yeah, after- yeah. afterwards, because she but, lost her friends. Yeah, but but afterwards, nothing. No ending from her. Like no, no she got chained up, closure. right? Yeah, she no, got chained up. Didn't they she? didn't show anything. They oh just, yeah, after post, they, they didn't talk about it. Yeah. They just showed his uh, his dad, like Azula and Zuko's dad, all chained up. Mm-hmm. When Zuko, no, but I mean um, during when, the, the Azula fight, they did like chain her up, right? Uh, they chained her up, but that was just. For like, the fight now. For the fight. Very ending. They didn't oh, yeah, show Azula she anymore. Yeah, she just disappeared. So the, there's no resolution from her. She's probably in jail. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's but, like super evil crazy. But yeah, like uh, when Zuko went to see his dad, well, I see Azula. Like it's just his dad in in, in the prison. See, so this like, is where I keep saying that Avatar has problems with their endings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's true. But nonetheless, it's, it's a really good there, there story. There should have been really an story. epilogue. Mm-hmm. Of some sort. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Another Sex Beach Island episode. Right. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. That surprise Sex Beach Island episode. Because I thought... We should stop calling it that. Yeah. No, we should. <laughs> no, we I should, should. Stop we should s- always keep calling it <laughs> I should stop saying, oh, yeah, creepily. Because uh, honestly, I, I really <laughs> yeah. didn't uh, quite like the... Like, I, I get why you guys like the Sex Beach Island and episode. He got so mad and threw his fist in the fireplace. Dude. And boom. Yeah, but I... The volleyball. But I guess I got over hype. <laughs> A bit on it, so I did, oh okay, uh, because I thought that like Team Avatar will also get into this. Oh no, beach they weren't there. Mm. No, they were going with Boom Boom Man or whatever yeah, yeah, it is. Boom. It's, it's a whole subversion of the beach yeah. episode. But yeah. they have another second beach episode, like near the end of yeah. the season. So it, that was that was cool. Mm-hmm. At least that was the Team Avatar side. Yeah, yeah. Team Avatar side. So yeah, other than that, uh, Megalobox. Okay, so. <laughs> You guys, you 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 guys haven't um, no, watched. Me, I'm waiting for it to stack up. I'm caught up, so don't talk spoils. Ah, oh, god. Talk, talk this is, concept. This is why I can't. How okay. bad are the spoilers? So so concept. Maybe I can take it. Concept wise. Oh, I, okay. I, I, and no, this no, is no. something that Thirsty Bert has told me. <laughs> Shout out to Thirsty Bert. Yeah. Thanks, Robert. <laughs> so he. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> the TIP. <laughs> Thirst in peace. <laughs> Thirst in peace. Okay, that's good. Oh, but yeah, he watched the original Ashton no Joe. I yeah. saw the ending of that, and it Christ. was like, it, parang how can I it's say? Old. There's there are bits in Megalo Box that are different, but all in all, it's just Ashton no Joe. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's no. Oh, no. Future Does that rigs. mean there are there are some time like there are uh like there are differences like key differences is um. In Megalobox, um, the first episode, they're not like you mentioned this, Emil. Like, there's an underground uh, Megalobox yeah, thing going on, right? Exactly. In right. Ashton Ojo, it's in prison. Ooh. And Yuri, a, a professional boxer, just went there just and just goes to prison to just, hang out with the prisoners yeah, and beat just, them up. Just want to see what, what boxing is in prison. <laughs> and <laughs> then like, that's oh, where Joe trained. said that, oh, you haven't seen the real boxing. And then they fight and then. 
you know, like, oh, go so into my ring. Oh. So something like that. It's, it's basically the same. Like, the kid is basically the same. Uh, he, he thinks he's the hottest shit. And yeah, then and then the trailer is also the same. So it's really weird to kind of see um, how Ashton and Joe is and compared to Megalobox so now. Do you think it's going to follow it to a T? Yeah, I mean, no, it, it is a tribute, right? Actually, no, no, no. Um, there's a key difference in Megalobox, which I will not spoil okay. because it is uh, not, really not. crucial. Mm-hmm. And it's basically what the what the premise is of Beggle Box. Mm. Mm. But yeah, Ashton and Joe... Uh, Should we watch Ashton and Joe? I don't... How long is Ashton and Joe? It's really long. Ugh. Is it? Oh, dang. Yeah, but uh, I think if, if you could like watch the first three episodes, just to appreciate how how they are tightly... How much of a tribute fam- it is. Like, tightly familiar they are with each other. Mm. Because that's a really... Uh, like, there, there will be... Um, little Easter eggs that you will see in Ashton and Joe when yes. you watch Megalobox. Mm. So yeah, um, I guess that's it. I mean, we could probably take a break. Yeah, maybe we can take a break. Maybe mm. I can recalibrate my microphone. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. No, I didn't know if he was done or not. Yeah. yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm done. All right. Mm. You I heard it to... first, folks. <laughs> He's done. done. We'll be back in a bit. You can have the fastest legs or the strongest arms, but are you ready for a game where all that matters is the speed of your mind and the power of your imagination? We are, and we're waiting around the world to challenge you. The game's Magic the Gathering. And all you need to play is a brain, a deck, and a friend. Switch on Charger Tron, robots like you've never seen. Switch on Charger Tron, supersonic machines. Rev the meter till it's red. Launch out the tracker. Switch on Charger Tron, now it's an attacker. Switch on Charger Tron, always changing, rearranging. He's surprising. He's disguising. Charger Tron. Charger Tron. There's Protagatron and Antagatron. Each sold separately. Hola, mi amigos. Bienvenido el Good Trades Podcast. Mi amor, Rabinis. Somebody turn off the sap. We gotta get that Spanish announcement out of here. Okay, this half of the podcast should sound... I should... I, you're gonna duplicate so hard. Am I? Fuck. Oh, yeah, no. it's in yeah. surround Shit, mode. It should be in the lonely chair. You should like turn you around the wall. I should just face my... Oh. No, that's no fun. Yeah. I want to see your beautiful face. Oh, no. no what happened no. there? So host my host <laughs> what, what happened to that? <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Host my host right, Where do we leave off? Is Ming still going to continue? Uh, Are you I, done with your week? I think I'm good. Like, I can Are save you? some of the discussion next mm-hmm. week. I mean, because you can't talk about Megalo Box just yet. No, and no, and don't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can't. And, oh, I mean, Wait. I can save Dang and Ronpa next week. Uh, yeah. Some of the stuff I played, like Baltech. So, yeah. Oh, right. You did buy that. Yeah. Mm. Also, like, I guess, um, uh, to make it short, Baltech's good. You guys <laughs> that's should, what everyone's saying. You, you guys should go with it. Yeah. That's the game that's not getting any traction, but all the reviewers are saying, get Battletech. Yeah, mm. dude. So, what type of game is it? It's a robot strategy rpg what's that other one it's also uh, the one that looks like advanced wars uh front mission so no, 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 no 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 um uh, xcom is it xcom oh the one oh, that wait. just came out didn't i talk oh, about uh, this into like, the breach yeah. what is into this? the breach there you go that breach. was really that, that that was also good and i actually want to buy that from the fdl guys yeah. Right, right yeah it is yeah. from the fdl yeah. guys and i think when they launched into the breach uh FTL was also included in that package. Oh, for real? For free. Oh, for free. Yeah. Oh, nice. They keep throwing sick, FTL sick. for free in a lot of bundles. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. It's weird because lately I have been picking up FTL again. Really? And mm. like, that I was... used to be be able to win. Oh, dude, that was so <laughs> I used to <laughs> be able to beat that game. game. The last one. Like, to be fair, that was a punishing game. Like, this is, I feel like this is everyone's experience with FTL, especially with mine. It's like, Oh, going good, going good, going good. You're dead. Yeah. 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 Like with mothership, <laughs> you're dead. Like mm-hmm. at the very end when you fight that big ass thing. Yeah. It, it's it's, it it's real really hard. unfair. Yeah. You have to get real lucky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It it used to it used to be effective with when you arm yourself with like just the 
blasters that shoot like thrice. Mm, yeah, like, yeah, just yeah, the yeah. basic ass blasters. Yeah. Just to get rid of the shields. Yeah, just to get rid of the shields. And now that strategy doesn't work anymore. Mm. Oh, they weird. updated. Probably. They probably updated the game. They used to be able to win. Like I had like like. <laughs> we have to get rid of this three laser meta. <laughs> yeah. We have to that, rebalance the game. That one ball guy in the Philippines is beating us. <laughs> We gotta get it. It shows the stats. Yeah. It oh, just no. says Raffy. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't sound Filipino. <laughs> Maybe he's a Pacific Islander. <laughs> yeah. Alright, before we jump to Raffy's actual thing, yeah. like, was Magic the only TCG you guys got into? Hmm. None of y'all got into the Pokemans for I, real? I tried Pokemon. I had a... Um, I had a... I had a Pokemon starter deck. I think it was Brushfire. Um, what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. What is, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. A, what is it? Green red? Yes, that yeah. was the green red Ooh. starter deck. Is yeah. um, that Charizard? Yes, no. first edition. Mm. Oh, you should have kept that. I know, because right now I have no idea where those cards are. Oh. Dude, that Charizard's like. That, that's like $800 rare. Right. Really? Yeah, dude, a that, fucking first edition Charizard? Wow. There's that dude who appeared out there in Pawn Stars who had like five of those. Oh, Jesus. Sick. Ooh. And he tried Champred because. Because you know how the shot. show yeah. works where they um, scan the people who mm -hmm. submit their entries right. and then they, they do the show. And right. it mostly ends with, like, we're not going to buy it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, right. It's just cool. a way to promote, like, the value of your collection. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Show off. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, is that how it is? So, in so the he end, showed, like, still gonna I have, like, five of these filled. fucking first edition mid Charizards. Yeah, plus mm -hmm. it's, it's a pawn shop. They can't, like... Buy everything, right? No, they can't buy it at value. Right, they have to buy it way lower than value, and then you you pay it back. That's how right. a pawn shop works. And mm. because you can't guarantee that right. they pay it back yeah. usually, it it's not something for actual selling. It's something for like, yo, this is the value, but we'll only pay you like fifty percent, and right. you pay me back. And usually, and like the the stuff that they do buy, sometimes it's just for their collection. Yeah, exactly. Because mm -hmm. they they feature it in the store that you can actually go in. Mm -hmm. Like you can go visit go in the and place. buy shit. Yeah. Right. Um, I only got into Pokemon for a bit because all of my other friends were into Magic. That's mostly it. Because I, I, I was at the, the time when Magic already got banned. Mm. So the, all those got confiscated. All the Catholic schools. <laughs> ooh. Right. But like, not just for the whole like, ooh, demon shit. It's just like, you're just not studying. You're playing during oh, yeah. recess. Oh, you know? You're true. playing during class. Some of those happen. Like, set up a new teacher, like, fuck under the, <laughs> yeah, we have the tables with the, the compartment underneath. Yeah, oh, with like, the shelf. Like, hand, like, Where else? How would they yeah. see Holy what shit. their battlefield is? Side other. by side. You know, bro. You know. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't play magic. Necessity is the mother yeah. of invention. Right, like, so after um, that, um, the Pokemon card game blew up on Game Boy. That's true. Dude, I, have, yeah. I still oh. have that cartridge. Card game. Like the, the original Game this. Boy. Yeah. 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 The Pokemon card game. That was it. Dude, I still have that cartridge and it was like, for me, that was the dream because it was a world wherein everyone had trading cards. Yeah. And like you yeah. bump into people like, yo, fight me. <laughs> and, and there were gyms. Right, right, right. There were gyms. Right? Yeah, there's the fire gym, the leaf And it was gym. like the, the proper rules. Also. Yeah, it was. Mm. It didn't skip on that. I so played that a lot. That yeah. blew up. Mm -hmm. And oh. because of that, people started to get the cards mm. as well. Like Actually, adding to the Pokemon thing, I remember uh, me actually accompanying my little brother and sister to Pokemon League meets Ooh. in Las Piñas. It's like F and M, but for did you Pokemon? go to like? Yeah, and eventually they, they give out like League badges. And yeah, shit. Cool. yeah, they they you give just, you badges. They give you promo cards too, and it's really cool because oh, dude, my my little brother's a trainer, <laughs> and my friend says really, haha. <laughs> No, really, and I showed them the badge and okay. Yeah, you, oh, you, you have a book that you get stamped for wins. Yeah. Cool. Then once you exceed a certain number of wins, you get mm -hmm. a, a badge sticker. A badge. Cool. And you yeah. put it in like the the a badge. It's, it's in a circle. Yeah, yeah. The badge case. Oh, yeah, cool. badge case. And once like you that. get a certain number of badges, you get entitled a promo card. Oh man, it's really I cool. wish it was a real animal pen though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think pen. some did that, really? but maybe earlier or later yeah. when it became more mainstream. Because it, yeah, yeah, it yeah. seems expensive to do, you know. So Probably the first few. Yeah. And then yun, yeah, they um they you start getting awarded promo cards of like a rare Mew. Yeah, and like just those like, foil cards and shit. Yeah, yeah, but they're usually not amazing. But mm. it's something you can't get from boosters, I and mean, it will say promo on it. I mean, yeah. that's kind of how F and M works, where where yeah, whoever yeah. wins the draft that night gets a promo card. 
Mm, right, right. They right. also add in raffle promo cards. Yeah, yeah. For Sometimes you get like boosters media. and shit. So like I like I think this this supposedly Friday Night Magic is um. What's that like? I have a card of that one that I just was, like got it from booster. Right. Like China, the something something. But it's a special. Yeah, like it's, the promo it, card it's is a, a special. It's art, a foil right? version oh, of yeah. the card. So. And sometimes it's alternate art. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And those are yeah, really yeah. hard to come by. Like it's only available for 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 that promo for for, right. for Friday Night Magic. So. Right. Right. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, back to Pokemon. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> I, I I didn't get into anything like. Other than magic, this is the the one thing the one, I got into. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's, it's usually really expensive by itself. And like the one card game I always wanted to get into but never got into was mm-hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh! Because oh. like I watched the show, <clears throat> right? But like I I could never find anyone around me that also played Yu-Gi-Oh! So that was like, my dilemma too. Yeah, because yeah. so either they were magic, yeah, and then that's it, and then the newer kids would come for Yu-Gi-Oh! Man. Yeah, exactly. I, I so so, so no one in my age bracket was like, yo, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Was, everyone's right. like, oh, magic elitist mode. Right? <laughs> Who's Some... the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pumbate? My anime. <laughs> <laughs> We were so into Yu-Gi-Oh, but we were playing Magic cards. Dude, cause... I would be so into a Magic the Gathering anime. Yeah. Wouldn't oh, you? Shit. Oh, really? Fuck yeah. Dude, imagine Fuck Jace. Yeah. Jace is the protagonist. Cartoons, mm-hmm. man. Cartoons yeah, Saturday man. morning cartoons, man. Oh, that's a Better to eat in cartoons. Dude, I would watch a Magic uh, cartoon, but in business, Planeswalkers and Bida, it's just kids or teenagers oh, playing that's Magic. that's the worst. <laughs> Oh, is it though? Like, is no. it though? The best? Like you, it sounds like the worst best Saturday morning thing. Oh, like they would <laughs> just imagine and then they become fully grown wizards. No, yeah, it's, it's like, uh, like, it's like Dungeons and Dragons Gundam cartoon, right? uh, build divers or exactly. Gundam yeah, yeah, yeah. Build exactly. The Dungeons and Dragons cartoon, that's what I was thinking. Right. Yeah, like they that. walk into a game store, they buy decks, oh, and then they get sucked into the deck. Oh, no, 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 they yeah. get sucked into the deck. That could work too. And then they have to escape it by defeating Jace. Right, right. <laughs> oh, why is Jace the I don't know, man. He's the one thing I can think of right now. That audio eye roll. He was banned. He isn't he now. Was, oh, he got unbanned just this year. Mm. Oh, for real, dude? Yeah, yeah. I lost third? my mind. I'm because, so happy because Migs was <laughs> Migs was talking to me about building his deck, and he's like, "Oh, I'm, I plan to put Jace. I'm such a Jace, Jace fan the mind sculptor in my deck." And I'm like, "Dude, but, good for you, but he's been banned for ages." And then five minutes like, in, oh, and then, wait, wait, yeah, five minutes in, I do research because I oh, wanted to show him how banned Jace was. Right. And then, totally how not. Banned yeah, was and totally the first not. article that comes out is like Jace is unbanned. <laughs> And it's like February of this year, and I'm like, yeah. what? Wait a Whoa, minute! That the reason? Yeah, that yeah. reason. And then when Emil like but... delivered the news, I was like pumping air, fist, like air yeah. fist pumps. And then, oh shit! Still, if he's on ban, it's like what two thousand pesos per car. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, this yeah. is expensive. Yeah. expensive. Yeah. Seventy-five dollars. Yeah. My Pokemon card experience was because I I didn't have the money to buy. Mm. those cards and mm-hmm. like by the time i came in those starter decks with the charizard yeah were gone yeah oh, like sure, super gone sure, sure. and that starter deck was pretty competent yeah that's, so i that's... i got the theme decks after that like the the team rocket deck and it's and like, like fucking like garbage generation cards. to pokemon now or is it still in yeah yeah one? yeah at that point they were already out. Be- because i remember i think the last gen one deck was the poison ones at that I, I got know, like I'm a jungle sure. series after that, oh, but like okay. those were kind of garbage too. Oh. Like compared Ooh. to the starting deck, like the the base monsters you get just aren't as good as I don't know. Like the ones after weren't as good as the starter deck. Mm. Plus that Charizard Legendary was pretty beefy. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was a standard it was really card. Good. Yeah. So when I got in, Shemper, like the the students that had more money and had more cards <laughs> destroyed me. Yeah, and, and like I just. I couldn't afford the booster packs. If I did, I was never lucky. And the, then when I fell into Yu-Gi-Oh, like, sh- fucking expensive. Dude, really? How is much it? is, like, cards in Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. yeah how much I is a booster? It was, like, 300 per for a booster? Good cards? Cards? Gonna, yeah, and so it's, it, like, it's not even 15 cards. Oh, that's boosters? Right? Boosters. Whoa. Boosters, 300. 250. Shit. Not 230 to 300. Does right. Elam cards per booster? It's less than 15, for sure. Jeez, like, it's like man. it's well, gonna, I'm imagining less, but it's probably around ten. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or yeah, like more than 15. five. Yeah, for sure. For and sure. then you know, I don't one rare. Five would be bullshit. 
I could totally see it as yeah. five million. Oh, man. Like, it I felt like it. That's rough. I, I think there's one magic it booster like that sells for 500, do, uh, 500 pesos or $10. Dollars. Dollars. Yeah. $10 for the Masters 25. Oh, yeah. That's what I've heard. Those but fucking yeah. Masters series are like pretty good. Yeah, what is that? It's like a legacy. Uh, basically, box. Masters is whoever wins the Pro Tours, their yeah. deck lists get compiled. Whoa. Uh, that, okay. And then sold as boosters? Yes. Whoa. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they, they used to... Uh, like market those as champion decks. Yeah, right? yeah. I think the challenger really... decks, like this year's challenger decks, were based yeah, on. Yeah, this year's challenger um, decks were very close to the deck lists of the yeah, people who won. Surprisingly the Pro Tour. close. Because... So they do they put their names in the decks? Um, yeah, like... like the Jimmy Hoffa booster pack. <laughs> like like, <laughs> not just that. Before it it went to the extent of the people who would champion at the Pro Tours would get their face in an art. Ooh, yeah, like oh, like yeah. like that's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, and in the champion decks, um, if you buy them, the card is signed with like, oh, the uh, player gold, signature, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the parang gold signature. Yeah, I know like, about that. But it's printed on it. Right? Yeah, it's yeah, not right. really signed. Right? It's not. A, yeah. It's not an actual. But he signed, signed like one reprint. at some point. And right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. the Michael Jordan basketball signs. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's sports like you tell your kid, like he really signed this. Like, he did. <laughs> <laughs> it's a million ball. of them in Walmart. Oh no. The lies you tell your kids. Right. Mm-hmm. So how's Yu-Gi-Oh? God, dude. Like after learning the basics of magic, mm-hmm. it's the same, but yeah. more complicated. Oh, the, the, oh, phases, really? the phases are almost the same. Yeah, yeah the oh, phases okay. are almost yeah. identical. Um, but there's so many more sub rules and like what do you call those things? Like trample and then yeah, like, uh, uh, yeah. like triggers or no, no, no. Uh, abilities, like like stylized abilities. Um, so there's it's that. rules text. Yeah, it's basically. rules text. Yeah. But I think what you guys are talking about is this, the, the 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 various forms of evasion in the game, because like they're usually lumped. The, yeah. There's abilities, activated abilities, right. which are super specific. Right. Then there's evasion, which is like stuff like flying, menace, trample, right. basically things that get right. through. Mm, right. Yeah. Oh, they are forms. Yeah, it's it's, it's 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 usually clumped up into the term evasion, yeah. and each set has like a unique because before there would be broken shit like There'd intimidate, be, right. swamp walk, forest walk, oh, yeah. fucking shadow, yeah. Sha- yeah. Mm. Mm. fucking shadow. It's like flying but different. <laughs> How? How is this different? Is it just, just, it just is. Just think, <laughs> shut yeah, up. it's different. Shut up. O- You're only, flying in the shadows. Only creatures with shadow can block each other. Isn't uh, that just like flying? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually experienced the sh- one of Rafi's shadow cards in his standard yeah. deck. Yeah. In his standard deck. Oh. I just want to repeat that. It got reprinted. It got reprinted. <laughs> it got time shifted. It's for reals. It was standard at the time. That's my only defense of it. That's Rafi's mantra. It was standard at the time. Yeah. yeah. So, so Yu Gi Oh doesn't have that. Mm. But if, if two cards have the same effect, It'll be worded differently, mm, okay. but it would just be categorized as an effect monster. Yeah, magic ah. tends to like generalize all the like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it would put it like Webster style noun. Mm. Like usually, uh, before, um, what am I trying to say? Um, how it would usually <laughs> yeah. start is like they're unique texts, but right. Um, all so many cards have this text that wizards just decides to okay. That thing, it's it's just lifelink now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's it. that's yeah. what usually happens. That's it's like, not what Yu-Gi-Oh has. Mm. It still has the full-on rules text. Yeah. Pretty much. Every time. Uh-huh. Like, well, I guess it helps like for all beginners. Like, I, for guess, players. I mean, I guess. I guess it does. Oh, but like, it's going to be really... With, with the abundance of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh now, where like each series would basically outclass the past generation. Mm. Yeah. So like, um, Migs asked about if I ever had an Exodia build before. Yeah. And Exodia is like the the finisher in the first parts of the anime. Right. Or if you get all five pieces in either you the field win. or your hand, you, you just instantly win. win. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right? And there are builds for that. Mm-hmm. But like the if you're if you're chasing for those in boosters, yeah. the rest of the cards that come with it are just utter garbage. Whoa. I play seven oh. pots of greed. You can only have three. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> you can only have a max of three, boy. Damn it. I thought I could win. <laughs> but there, there are ways, dude. dude. Like, that deck is lame. I the draw my whole set. deck. Exodia. The I win. <laughs> that deck is Exodia lame. Deck. Those, oh. those videos where you see people getting one turn, yeah. it mean, really happens. But that's yeah. the whole idea yeah. of an Exodia deck, right? It's yeah, right. right. But, but that's doing that's it on, your only game plan. Yeah, yeah, but doing it on turn one is lame. 
You know what I mean? Oh, that means it true. worked for you. Yeah, it means it worked, but that but means like, you're the uh, only one that had fun. But the <laughs> entire game plan is like, your monsters are all garbage. They're just there to find pieces of Exodia yeah, right, yeah, in yeah, your right. deck. <laughs> God when, in, it's interesting because they made oh, a goodness. card which is like the Exodia Necros mm-hmm. can only be summoned if the five pieces are in the graveyard. Ooh. And he cannot die. Interesting. As long as the pieces Shit. are in the graveyard. I never so knew this card. second. It's Zodia. like Kaiba's dad uses. It was so lame. <laughs> in the show. Oh, oh man. But so I'm like, <laughs> he has decent attack, but he cannot be destroyed by anything. Yeah. What the so the way to beat him is you pull out the pieces from the graveyard. Mm-hmm. Then he'll get the super destroyed. specific. Yeah. Oh, okay. But that came out like how many series after? Well, at least there's but, no win condition out of that thing. No, no. It's just that yeah. you just have a really strong monster. But like, you know, um, the cards that would come with the booster set for that series are all like more 300 attack. Which is low. Uh, like even 1,000 attack is pretty low. You have... Because um, in Yu-Gi-Oh! To summon a, a monster without any you know, sacrifice mm-hmm. right. is one to four stars. Mm-hmm. Right. You can get a four star monster with like an attack nearing 2000. Right. Which is one usually one of five to six stars already. Right. Yeah. You get one eight. One eight. I like, think, I think the only more. thing that got me familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh rules is that jank old windows game. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. 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 Where it, talking about the, the purpose of that was to teach you how to play. Yeah. yeah. Cause they would give those out for free. Like I would play that over and over again. It's yeah. just, the only win condition was like Exodia or shit like that. You, and, you choose from preset decks. Yeah, yeah. And you have and to beat Joey Wheeler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joey yeah. Wheeler. I played one where you played as Joey Wheeler. Really? Yeah. And I like, think if you <laughs> fight Kaiba or Yugi, you play Joey's as Joey. Joey's Mythologies. Yeah, there it is. And then, yeah, Joey's Mythologies. I don't quite Kyber. remember the name of the game, but like, I learned way more from it than the fucking anime, that's for sure. Because the anime oh, sure. uses fake rules. The anime so was bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. Because yeah. a real match would take too long. <laughs> yeah. That's when I noticed it with Magic. Like, you guys were saying you have a long game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's nothing. Oh, really? Well, Yu-Gi-Oh can get long. real lame. Oh, fuck. It, okay, it does get long sometimes. Mm-hmm, it, it does. It really but depends for the most on the part, deck. It depends on the there, deck. There is deck builds in Yu-Gi-Oh, which is made to exhaust your opponent's deck. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. if you can't draw in your draw phase, if you're yeah. out of cards, you lose. Yeah, yeah. Same oh. with Magic. So there are mm-hmm. cards that can force your opponent to draw. To just draw, yeah. So... And you have like eight thousand life points. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh man, so we we'd get crazy on the the magic builds then. Like, oh wait, can I ask? Yeah. Does magic have like regional problems? Mm. What do you mean regional? Was it problems? just like problems. any card would work? Uh, yes. Um, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh what, what has region locks. Really? Yeah. That's what? lame. There was a really US release weird. and an Asian release. Uh, Asian? Not because Japanese? the US had the censorships, right? That's weird. Oh, okay. Because um, in, in weird, the but... Magic Pro Tours, as long as everyone knew what that card was, yeah. Yeah. it's legal. Even, even if, if you're it's playing a Japanese, Japanese card, yeah. even right. if you're playing like a as different card. As long as they the functionality. As long as like, it's understood. It's this card. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's an official Wizards of the Coast card. It works. Yeah, you like work. like I knew someone from Neutral Grounds selling cards. They're all in Japanese. Yeah, dude. Like, so when I was calling legal, Neutral Grounds yeah. to check if my the deck I wanted was in stock, yeah. like, I asked, like, a branch, like, yo, do you have these Planeswalker decks in in, in stock? And they're like, uh, yes, po, pero Japanese lang. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. 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 Change those out. Mm-hmm. Some of which for the better, some of which for the not. Like the the barrel dragon, which has yeah, a revolver dragon. face, became a giant laser dragon. Mm-hmm. What's the what's the, uh, I guess. The because the guns, guns are yeah, bad. Guns are bad. Yeah. Barrel dragon looks so good. It though. looks so sick. Yeah, right? it's that cannot exist in real <laughs> a life. Gun, a gun dragon. <laughs> His face was a revolver. Oh, yeah. like That's an amazing that. dragon design. The little hinges on the top. It was used by an American. <laughs> right? Yeah, his armor was on the back of his head. Yeah. Oh, man. So, you know, apparently because, like, sure, I would get that mm-hmm. as in terms of releases. Mm-hmm. And I think some of the descriptions and naming conventions were changed. But um, magic cards were labeled as spell cards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Because yeah. the Jesus or something. I don't know if Jesus used magic. Like, I actually have another question. Because... In in Magic, there's so many ways to play it because there's stuff like Legacy, there's Draft, there's Sealed, there's EDH. 
in Yu Gi Oh, is there like any other format? Of oh, yeah. It would just ban a series of cards That's it? depending on the generation. Mm, there's so, you know, like the. Yu-Gi-Oh. You could, but it's, it gets really confusing because oh. you all have 8,000 life points. Oh, shit. Oh. You're right. Yeah. And it's basically yeah. you play in teams. You can't really play around, uh, like mm. chaos. Like okay. Woes or trios. So you just and share, and then you have to kill both anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But you can you share the same board, essentially. Mm. I think in the, the later portable games, you would share everything except your deck. Yeah, I remember there's an, like, a season of Yu Gi Oh! where it's two on two. I think the GX right. games have that, where you share life points, yeah. the yeah. field, but you have your own decks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Keep you can sacrifice separate. your teammates' sponsors and shit like that. Mm. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, and, um, the, the problem with the regioning thing was when they ran tournaments, mm-hmm. you could only use Asian cards. Oh, But whoa. the way the releases came, the Asian cards would come like Delayed. two wave, two, I don't know, two series is behind. Yeah. Which means that your cards would suck. Oh, damn. Because um, the official toy stores, like Toy Kingdom and stuff, would have the Asian cards only. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then card shops would have, like, the US releases. So, but I think since the tournaments were partially sponsored, Mm -hmm. they had to only play, like, the Asian cards. So, Mm -hmm. if you didn't have enough Asian cards to make a 40-card minimum deck, you can't play. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that, that sucks. sucks. Like like cards with region locking. That's weird. It's weird, man. It is weird. And who reinforces? <laughs> and like they don't change the effects. They might yeah, change yeah, the wording, yeah. but the effect of that card is the same. That's yeah. weird. That's weird. That's probably why Magic has been such a mainstay, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah like strange. even Pokemon doesn't have that problem. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Who polices <laughs> that? Like honestly, like, I don't know. Hey. The- the What's fun that? police. Hey, kids! Some the fucking bandit Keith. <laughs> like, nah, you can't man. use guns here, kids. Bandit Keith with this barrel dragon. Okay. <laughs> you know how bad the censorship of Yu-Gi-Oh! was in the States? Oh. Yeah. There's a part in, in like, the, the early arc where mm. the American guy, Bandit Keith, with a, a, a America flag bandana. I know about shades. that, yeah. Oh, yeah. He holds yeah, Pegasus that. up at gunpoint, like, beside him. <laughs> okay. And he took out that gun. So he's just pointing at his head. <laughs> Like, you better give me the championship fortune now, guys, or else I'm going to do something. Like, I'm going to send you to the Shadow Realm. And Pegasus is like, okay, just don't point at me, man. I, I'd be so scared Dude, if a white man was pointing telling. at my head. Dude. The America. That's what they do. Oh, if man. they didn't have a gun right now, they'd have one following behind. The shape of a gun with your hand is dangerous. Dude, the thought of a gun is dangerous. <laughs> And like, my mom, like, it might be loaded. <laughs> it's just your hand doing a gun motion. And are there like ridiculous like things in the censorship about that that changed what the actual scene was? Like, for example, when when Yugi was fighting this dude, uh, had the death death trap. That mm. the lower their life points got, that like saw the blades saw would blades come closer to their yeah, closer to their like kneecaps. <clears throat> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Like so, they changed that into. Like in the, is it the American version? The, yeah, the, yeah, the, the four kids one. Four kids. That's, mm-hmm. that's just like, oh, it's energy blades now. Right. And, and then, if you get touched, you, you get, get sent to the shadow realm. Yeah, 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 yeah shadow like, realm. What sense does that make? Mm-hmm. And like when you rewatch it again, you see that if he, you see Yugi like gloating, like <laughs> he, he almost gets the, the razor blade onto the other guy. And when you right. think that that's not an energy blade but an, a razor blade, you think you 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 like double take and say, "Huh, Yugi was fine with this guy getting his his kneecaps feet chopped yeah. off." That's like, fine because he's an Egyptian king with dark magic. Dude, he's he didn't super, care. He's yeah, the king dude. of games. Mm-hmm. He played with real dark magicians. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He actually magician. banished them from the shadow <laughs> realm. <laughs> right, so that's why Yu-Gi-Oh kind of sucks. Plus, <laughs> plus. <laughs> what? What? Conclusion. No, no, like, when, like when I say <laughs> that uh, each card series would become so, like, strong, yeah. that it would mm-hmm. outclass yeah. the older cards, when GX came, mm-hmm. those cards alone would outclass most of the older ones. Oh, that's the oh, worst when the set yeah. comes out and just out Because for Magic, it's the reverse. Yeah. All the old cards are the broken-ass ones. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what I kept hearing, like, Magic is still balanced. And I'm like, how? Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. like, all of the old cards... That was back in the day when wizards didn't know what they were doing. Right. And they were just like, yo, I guess, you know, this bird can make mana. 
Illegal pa rin naman. Yeah, yeah. Birds of Paradise is still fucking legal though. Dude, it's crazy. It's crazy how strong that fucking bird is. And like, hey, this fucking oh, flower makes three different men. Oh, oh super fun Zero fact. to cast. Three different? Yeah. Zero oh, to cast. Like black this castle, castle oh my God. This castle will sap out your island and your lake. Dude, oh, that sucks. Super fun fact about Birds of Paradise, though. Yeah. Did you know the art for Birds of Paradise was originally just for an island? <laughs> and then they were like, the artist submitted his work, and the Wizards of the Coast guys were like, Yo, <laughs> we, <What a> bird. <laughs> yo, we commissioned you to make an island, but the bird is the focus of this picture. So we'll just make a bird card, but we'll make it make mana. <laughs> because there's an island in, in the and, back. And oh, plus a special shit. man card was born. Isn't that crazy? Oh, God. And they I, were like, heard, this is too strong. Mm-hmm. This fucking bird. Man, I remember Emil um, telling me this trivia about the Shivan dragon. Oh, Shivan dragon. Oh, yeah. Art. <laughs> yeah, the original so artwork of Shivan looks like Jank. a Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> it's, that, it's, that's it's canon like a, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like a mini card. boss from Mega Man 2. Dude, it looks <laughs> like a <laughs> Mega Man boss. It's it the does. dragon boss from Mega Man 2. They didn't have like big cartoon eyes and shit. Yeah, yeah oh my exactly. God. No kidding. Like I, like I said, that's canon in Yu-Gi-Oh. No. <laughs> they embrace the weird art stuff. Rafi, yeah. look, can that be our podcast icon? What? The fucking barrel dragon. Okay. The barrel <laughs> dragon. Just <laughs> look at this fucking shit. shit. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, isn't great? To, it doesn't to look do as cartoon it. as I thought. It looks mm. like a worm. Yeah. Kind of. This is worm. great for audio. Is Dude, funny. it is mm-hmm. super we'll Put great it all for down audio. there. <laughs> this on. is training for oh, our God. next show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, is Rafi up next? <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you ready, sir? Yeah. It's time for your spotlight. What have you been doing this week, Rafi? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, you've just been destroying Migs and Magic. Yeah, so. I do also have a, a Magic the Gathering story, and it's like, just, I was out of this game. Like, <laughs> I was really done. How like, recent is this story? I mean, oh, oh no. Two weeks ago. Is this my fault this again? Is, yeah, like, yeah. Were you just like, walking up and someone was like, I'm the greatest Magic player, and like, boy, you don't know. <laughs> Let me show you. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Emil went to Rafi's door. Yo, let's play EDH. But I'm uh, retired. I don't walk that path anymore. I'm on that game. <laughs> I've seen too much. It's fucking but, it's yeah. fucking Nick Fury going up to Captain America. <laughs> and then Emil just showed this deck. Alright, maybe I can go just one more game. <laughs> one more run. <laughs> one last ride. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, man. We're making this sound way movie. cooler than it is. It's not. It's like, hey, let's play magic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some nerds. But for real, though, I, I got, like, we got super into magic in high school, then again in college. And it's like, in college, I got really, really into it. Like, that's when I built, like, the best decks. Like, I, I we, mm. we put all our money into it. We play, like, very competitively. And, like, after college, when the the working money came, mm-hmm. I had all this money to put it in, but all my <laughs> friends are dead. <laughs> like, what, what do you mean? I mean dead? Um, like they, you killed they them all. <laughs> By magic. A funny thing happened. It's they like all died. No. You're walking away and you just see like hands and fallen cards on the floor. <laughs> oh, no. I have bow, left bow, my bow, mark. Bow. They're oh. all like. They, they dissolve into dust or some shit. I don't <laughs> feel good, no, but, Raffy. Even with the, even their cards <laughs> yeah. dissolve. No, but for real, I. I really wanted to get into to magic again, like somewhere um, during Return to Ravnica, because Ravnica, yeah, because our favorite set was when we were really really into it was Ravnica. It's the city of guilds, like mm-hmm. every color combination had different guilds and identities. Oh, like man. the the green black were the Golgari. There were the sewer people that that oh. sewer and uh, that there were the sewer people that um take took care of the city's dead mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. and like all that stuff oh, and like man. there's the secret blue black uh, guild that that no one thinks exists because because they <laughs> okay it's a great story <laughs> so like when, when they see a sense. member there's like yo blue black guys and like and just, are we <laughs> <laughs> yeah but the blue <laughs> no are we like, though <laughs> That's how they kept themselves secret. <laughs> like they just second guess everyone. <laughs> like, hey, that's a Demir logo. Is, is it, it though? <laughs> oh my 
like, yeah. and they just walk away. I, just I walk really away. appreciate how Wizards of the Coast actually got into this lore yeah. about Ravnica and the guilds because before um, I was lo lo looking at the deck list and I was like, what is this type <laughs> of uh, deck name? It's like Izet or Devere. I just realized that, oh, these are the guilds. So, ba yeah, so basically yeah, yeah. they named, like they, they gave different unique names to to uh, color combos in yeah, Magic. Right. So that's really cool. And th there was even a, a set that introduced three color combos. Three color. Yeah, and yeah. they had their own guild mm -hmm. in, in the lore. Grixis, mm -hmm. um, other combinations well, and it's stuff. It's named Band. Band. Okay. <laughs> don't laugh at it it's cool no, I thought it was like banned immediately <laughs> banned. we're the color combination that's not allowed <laughs> are you yeah my no. little band name the secret. <laughs> yes. and, and yeah like it was such a like a perfect time to get into it and like a perfect set to be for, for us at the time because like um, in college, like you, you didn't know where it it is. It was a new environment. Like you wanted to fit in, and it's like Ravnica. When we were all getting together with it, each of the the different guilds represented different facets in society. Mm -hmm. So like you, um, gravitate towards certain guilds. So like you, you feel like you're you belong and yeah. you represent an identity. Like, and if you're, for example, if you're using a Gul Golgari card, there's a watermark on the card. That's the Golgari symbol. Mm -hmm. So like it's just this feeling of belonging that we that really we gravitated towards. And like from that, we got super, super into magic. I think that's one of the great aspects of magic. Like the amount of personality they put into their cards. Hell yeah. Like like not only like the personality via colors or guilds and stuff like that. Yeah. Just like individual like cards are mm. like how how like for example how goblin cards have the funniest text oh, ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. all For the sure. time all the goblin cards like yep. without a doubt they have the funniest flavor text ever yeah. or how some of the blue cards have like this philosophical oh wait because they're a bunch of nerds yeah, yeah. And, yeah and like you think about life suddenly oh <laughs> For a magic card, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's some scholars. real good ones. Like there's some real because they pull from the water. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Flavor text, I mean, like wrong. the flavor text in this game is super real. Like mm -hmm. we got, we got our Life friend lessons. in. We got our friend into magic just because of the flavor text. Really? Oh. Like she started collecting like oh, new different nice. the lore. cool quotes on mm -hmm. it. Like and like, um, for example, like the counter spells when the counter spell ones are really good. Yeah, because yeah. they're all really badass mm -hmm. stuff. Like. I don't have, uh, like, there's this one card that said, um, I don't have to have the perfect plan. My opponent just needs to have an imperfect one. And it's yeah. like, oh, it's so so cool. it's like, like based lang dun sa ganun, we got her hooked on magic cards. And it's like, she started collecting first the, the cool ones with the flavor text. Then she wanted to learn the game. And nice. now, she's got this super expensive deck. <laughs> That's Jesus. like, like at the time, it was 3,000 worth. Oh, Jesus. Like it, had, it, it was the Demir deck, the, the secret guild. Oh. <laughs> and what they do was, um, their main gimmick was, because the, the guild doesn't just have like the different um, combinations of the two colors. They have their own guild mechanic mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and guild identity and how they played the game. So Demir was all about taking cards from your library straight into the graveyard like milling your deck yeah so like at the very end you die with like just without without the card to draw mm. you know, that's that's it's exiled uh, yeah like uh, what was it what what's it called like exile no 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 when or... exhaustion yeah no, you okay. die of exhaustion so that's that's the thing like she'd have she'd have this super awesome card called traumatize it takes half your library. Put it into your what graveyard. Yeah, I remember okay. that card. Ridiculous, dude. That's insane. Take half the library and put it into the yeah, graveyard. That's really good. Cut. Imagine if you're in command. Right? That's traumatized. Dude. Oh, 45 cards. No. <laughs> that's the worst. Jesus. Man. So, yeah. Dude, imagine casting four traumatizers in a row. That's mean. Yeah. But oh, it was just half of half of mm. half. Half of half and half and half. She'd have like two traumatizers. The definition and... of lame it out. <laughs> yeah. Basically. And like the creatures all had the ability that, for example, this, this deals combat damage to a player, negate that damage, but take that many cards away from the deck. Mm. Like oh, it geez, was all about the deck. So and it's like, she had this two to cast instant that's glimpse the unthinkable. It's 10 cards off your deck. Two to cast them. Oh shit. What? So, so yeah, she, she, gets in. she gets one traumatized in. She gets one traumatized in and like all the way 
glimpse na lang. Glimpse. Tapos parang <laughs> done. Like, I don't done. need she to do damage. She doesn't say anymore. <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. So oh good. God, that sounds so lame. Oh, we got so... No, I mean, who's not? No, no, just no, imagine like you have lame it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would fucking yeah. hadouken your way to victory no, 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 no. and just, chip him to death. Just imagine two wizards like in a room and they're fighting and one guy's casting spells but the other wizard is just walking up to the other wizard and ripping out pages <laughs> in his book. <laughs> yeah. like, Fuck your book! <laughs> that is how it works, right? Over. Yeah. Reading is hard. Yeah. Reading is hard. Fuck your like, book. What is this garbage? <laughs> Get this out of here. <laughs> Like, wait, wait, I need that. <laughs> I don't memorize my spells. <laughs> They're all just in the... Azeroth, oh, Mentrion. Was that other word? <laughs> Shit, <laughs> where's the book? <laughs> They're all running it's around. in the in, garbage. They're just running around the arena. And they, they just keep on circling back. And when he, he reaches the other player's library... <laughs> takes it away. <laughs> takes a page and runs this. away. <laughs> It's, it's like the bullying in Wizards. It's like you go to wizard school and like that's what the bullies do to you. They rip out the stuff in your spell book and they throw take it around. Your books away. Yeah, they, oh, they pass it around. They shove you on the floor and take your books away. <laughs> what you gonna do now, nerd? <laughs> oh man, that was good. But yeah, oh, I'm, I'm super into magic cards. Now I'm getting reignited again. Like, oh, and me. And like this, every every now and again. You guys walk into like my playhouse, like, dude. Like that time you wanted to play Battle Realms this time. Oh no! I won, dude. We had Pretty no much. idea how yes. strong you were in Battle Realms. Good and we all just ate it. I got lucky that you didn't find my base, so you destroyed them first. Yeah, like, right. I was like, "Sasa, Sasa, 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 Sasa." Yeah. Like, that means I'll do the moral victory at least, <laughs> and then like, okay, I'll quit. <laughs> Dude, we had no idea how like, strong you were. Like we thought they were just idea. casually inviting us to play right. Battle Realms. Like, oh, no, it's just sports right mode. No. Stop talking and everything. <laughs> and like when I brought up magic, well, like yeah. I my exact wording was, "Hey, were any of you into magic?" And the only thing you said was, "Oh, maybe I'll bring my old decks." You you gave, <laughs> you gave no indication of how strong you were in magic. You gave wow. absolutely no bag. indication. I, I didn't know. <laughs> and, like I you weren't know. expecting the others to bring a deck. You were just gonna bring right. it straight up. Yeah. yeah. Just, I thought we were gonna build like, I thought we were we were gonna build like new casual decks like from my old cards. And like, but you were ready to destroy. No, but like taking away from that though, <laughs> how, I want to backtrack away from that into a fun story. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is how we first got into magic. Like my my old friend was. Um, he took us to his house, mm-hmm. and like his dad was super big into magic, like Fort Ed and stuff. Whoa, that's so wow. he, that's da- so old. his dad brought on like a tray, a whole like like oh. roller tray of cards Holy and shit. shit. So yeah, shit. Wait, go on and like. Holy shit! Like fucking 1993 yeah. cards. 1993 cards, like this old school like tranquility, fortune. old school. But uh, no, no, like Black Lotus or oh, fucking right. Birds of Paradise. Well, I'm gonna get No power cards you didn't care about. Yeah, J- n- n- not not also like super. Shit cards as right, well, but it's not like, from his deck. Like, not not so, from his for real. If you challenge okay. him, you will die. Yeah, he will, <laughs> yeah, he will actually, actually expire. Yeah. He has a fucking deck box on his belt loop. Always, <laughs> one day they might be strong enough. <laughs> one day they could have been. Gods. Is it time for the sauce? They could have been gods. <laughs> oh man! And like, good. Just like from from Shit, that experience, it, it was. Like, we didn't even know what playsets are. Mm. So we'd take, like, one, one six co- of things, one. Wow. 12 of things. Like, I saw this one card called Stream of Life. Mm. Gain X life, where X is your mana. <laughs> I took, like, 12. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never lose. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Would it be crazy to have a deck with 12 lightning bolts? <laughs> Do it. Like, 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 I'm surprised there's no rule set that does that. What do you mean? There's gotta be, right? There, there, is, there, there are is. some that like, let you bend the the the, the rule. Of yeah, like order. like um, 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 relentless, and... relentless oh, rats. Yeah, like yeah. that card, relentless rats. That says in the rule text, you may have as you many can... relentless rats in your deck as you want. Yeah, yeah. so you can have a whole deck full of relentless rats. Relentless rats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, uh, I think it gets plus X plus. Zero plus for, the plus amount plus of, yeah. Yeah. for the amount of relentless rats, rats in the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can so, have like so a the whole fucking army of rats. Dude, like, imagine, great fucking deck. That's so <laughs> relentless. Like, like imagine a commander deck with just rats. Just like <laughs> I mean, foul dupes. 
No, no, no as, long, oh, as long as the card mm. set says yeah. otherwise, oh. yeah. so yeah. you could build a commander deck with just, with just relentless wrath if you want, <laughs> and just enough land to summon one. Yes, <laughs> <enough> <laughs> and to and one. the rest will just come. <laughs> Damn, that's it's hilarious. like Vermintide. Oh, no. You know that, that fucking I know that, that game where like what would win. 20 soldiers or oh, a yeah. thousand chickens? Right, 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 right. <laughs> Is it like that? Like yeah, chicken sized horses. What would win? Five or wizards or 10,000 relentless rats? I, I mean, like, there were those old school squirrel decks and shit like that. Those were pretty oh good. God. Were those? Squirrels, giant growth, boom. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, imagine. The <laughs> giant squirrels fucking up your day. Like, yeah, how? Some... They just push you around. No, no they're giant. Like, like, you would play some really cheap squirrels and then cast giant growth on all of them. So they and become like, giant. Like and then, yeah. really buff 6-6 six, six squirrels. Yeah. Foaming at the mouth. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty great. <laughs> and then like you're eating a sandwich, they just push you over. Yeah. All they want to do is nut. You know that story okay, where nut. you said that your friend's dad just brought, yeah. build out the giant yeah, bag yeah. of cards? I had something similar, but with family computer games. Yo. Oh, okay. Where my, cool. my neighbor, like, because um, we had, we went through, I think, three Famicoms right. back in the day. Like the Japanese ones, which would break really easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was the ones with the, the controllers attached. Mm-hmm. And, um, like, you wouldn't be very far from the TV because of that. Yeah. But by the time I was, you know, I had sentience. I could think for myself <laughs> without being a baby child. He was child. self-aware. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the Miggy net was self-aware. <laughs> the Miggy net. I wasn't, like, drooling by myself. You know? <laughs> okay. Um, I found that drawer. And then, like, I remember playing games before. And then, I think, maybe a few months or a year after, I was like, oh, I want to play again. And, like... It's broken, and then I pulled out the drawer. This is just three. Ooh. Like they're all broken. It sucks. Oh, no. So um, I think like a good report card later, I was able to get my own Famicom. Yeah. And it was the one shaped like a Super Nintendo. It was still a okay. Famicom, but it was a bootleg right, shaped right. like a Super Nintendo. Right. And like the extra buttons were just turbo versions of A and B. I don't know. Okay. So I only had. You know, I get the console and only one game. So I had oh, Mega Man shit. 6 and that was it. Oh, I just ran with choice. Mega Man 6. And yeah, then yeah. fucking my neighbor, he just gave me a literal sack yeah. of video games. Oh, shit. Ooh. Nice. Like a rice sack of fucking shit. NES games. I'm like, Dude. There's so many. Holy Some of them shit. didn't even have covers. Yeah. So like there was one which it was just Holy the shit. board. Mm. It was Rockman 4. Oh, you shit. pop it in and somehow it gave you 20 one-ups each fresh boot. What? The what? Fuck? Whoa, yeah, okay. it would be XX. Whoa. And then once you exhaust all that, it would yeah. only max out to 9. What is this hard Wait, Every no. time you initial boot or do a password at the start, you get 20 lives. What is this hard-coded I, game shark? I don't know. Yes. Maybe there was like some fucking dude rat dude. shit on it that messed up the dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I can imagine like with the casing off, something messed with the wiring. Right. And like just change that one part of the game. But it became Roman numerals, which oh, was fuck. funky. Weird. So I had no wow. idea what was going on. But yeah, like wow. I had so many NES games huh. and then that lasted for six years. <laughs> Did you play all of them? I play most of them. Like, oh, um, nice. I skipped the Super Nintendo because my NES didn't die for that long. Mm. Oh. And I only played Super Nintendo with the neighbors and shit. Mm, mm, mm. So, like, that thing where he neighbor or person just gives you big bag of stuff. Yeah. Which you would think before was like, oh, that's lucky. People but then nice. being yeah, that person, like, nice. that's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> right? I never people got, like, an nice. experience like that. But yeah. how I got into magic yeah. was, like, like... I kind of felt like I was kind of paying it forward, mm-hmm. like um, giving the deck to Migoy. <gasps> yeah, uh, make me feel guilty if I yeah. don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> like giving the deck to Migoy today was kind of like a weird paying it forward because that's what my friend George did to me. Ah. Be- because I wasn't into magic, and Is it the guy who's into Tamiya's. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> that's that, a different that's George. George. That's JJ. That's JJ. George right. is the one into magic cards, and like. Uh, I would hang out with him. George was like one of my best friends. Like he, he, he still is. I don't get to see him that often these days, though. But right. he, I was never classmates with him. We just hung out after class. Mm. And then one day he just, like, straight up gives me a pre-constructed deck. That's why mm. I actually think that's why I have a like a weird love for pre-constructed decks. Yeah. Be- like w- when we're talking, I always talk about like buying a pre-constructed deck. Yeah, yeah. And I think I have a weird love for them because. That's how I got started. Right. Like, like with the theme of, like, clerics, black and white. Mm-hmm. Like, I still remember my very first pre-constructed deck, Ivory Doom. 
Mm. Wow, and, mm. that sounds like a white and black deck. Yeah, right? yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and like, I think that's that why the clerics that you're rocking. <laughs> yeah. Um, like probably okay. half the clerics. Half. Okay. Because like through the years, like that that deck's been changed and changed. I see. But at the very core of it, it's still that pre-constructed deck. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things I love about Magic that um, you can start off from a beginner level deck and like turn it into something cool yeah. and still thematic. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I love that. That that like you you also have this like sort of magic identity that shapes you. Kind yeah. Of. Like yeah. for example, that like me bringing my cards in because it happened to me once. Like just just get whatever cards you need. Mm-hmm. And like you with the preconstructed yeah. deck and giving me going now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it it kind of shapes you in a way not to get too preachy or corny or or <laughs> anything, but it you you get to shape your own like magic identity. For mm-hmm. example, even like the colors you choose, like. I rock green black now because I was just pure green before. And like my creatures kept dying to fucking creature hate. So you <laughs> turned them into zombies. It, to, so uh, that's those are my favorite decks. Like, regenerate. Cards. Regenerate, Badaya. coming back from the graveyard, and I have my own hate now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I rock the creature hate now, like I kill other people. The hate that's made true. you, yeah. you spawn true. your own hate. <laughs> you even run land hate. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, that was just me though. Yeah, oh, that was my <laughs> tutorial. Fucking <laughs> turning my land blue. What the fuck? What the fuck? You swam, swamp, <laughs> you islands. What's your what's You're your magic now. identity? Yeah. Mix? Um, wait, what is it? What do you like? Like, like for example, time. like like Raffi was yeah. the whole giving cards to everyone. Like, hey, just assemble from here. For me, it's like giving pre-constructed and like building off of pre-constructed. Yeah. Like, What's how yours? did you get into like the yeah, revenge yeah. deck? Well, the, the revenge, revenge deck. deck. There was this one time during a podcast that I do, <laughs> like, <laughs> where I lost <laughs> hard. I think I started. Um, I I got introduced to magic uh, during elementary school mm. or high school because this game I was is really old. Yeah, Dude, I, it is. I was just like watching my classmates or upperclassmen playing magic. So. Mm. Like, and I, can't, I can't really understand that much of the game since it's, oh, it's really complicated. Yeah, complicated, and you know you have to buy the decks to just play them. Mm. With and that in itself right. is, is like a. a and I, and I think for most of us, like seeing Magic is the first TCG that mm-hmm. we've ever encountered. Yeah, yeah I'd say it's a trading it's card true. game. Yeah, it's yeah. the big daddy. The yeah, big so daddy. like, but you see a regular deck and like, oh, yo, I know what they're doing, and then yeah. you see Magic, like, what is this? At, at first, yeah, I, I thought, parang sabi na, oh, you nag Magic ba? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me make this coin disappear. <laughs> Pick a card. Chicken. <laughs> you move your finger to the other. Yeah. Is, but, um, is my thumb really detached? <laughs> is it? Is it, is it, is it the hidden it? clan? Anyway, um, but the you, thumb disconnector. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the first my, my first dive into magic properly was in college. Mm. So it's, um, I was the first year. I, it's it's just a friend who tried to um like invite me to neutral grounds for Friday Night Magic. Mm, yeah. Also, we didn't get to Friday Night Magic. It's more of like like you know, fam. Friday afternoon magic. <laughs> fam. It's not it's weird. Afternoon. Because it's just after class and we just sit yeah. down on, on neutral grounds and just go and fam. meet people. <laughs> it is. It is fam. <laughs> What's up, yeah. fam? What's up, fam? Oh, hey, you wanna go, fam? Let's go, fam. But yeah, um, it, it was the time that Mirrodin, that the Mirrodin brought. Uh, so dude, that broken, was, though. That, that's so broken. Dude, it's so Mirrodin broken. is when I stopped. It's oh, so man. broken, Mirrodin dude. is when I stopped. Dude, I'm so, ridiculous so, to yeah. get affinity. Dude, like, it, it triggers me to this day. <laughs> also, oh back God. in the day, <laughs> all this back hate, in though. the day, I was like running black and shit, right? So all of my destroy cards said, Non artifact. Nah, and fucking Mirrodin was right. all oh, artifact. No. Right. Was like, yeah, it's, it was the land of artifact. Yeah, I was like, why, <laughs> oh, why no. can't I destroy anything these days? So, so, so basically, so, Maggie, yeah. um, when Mirrodin was introduced, they introduced this uh, rule called affinity for artifacts. Ugh. And basically, yeah. there, are, gross, there are creatures where yeah. you pay for, like, for example, it's six to cast for this creature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if it has affinity for artifacts, it you you can pay uh, the number of how many artifacts you have on your on instead your of map. having the standard mana. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's, it's, it sounds like bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. The, the casting cost is reduced, <laughs> reduced by, with the artifact. By the oh my number, god, the that sounds stupid. Yeah. This is this is a set defined by artifacts. Oh so god. you have artifact lands. Yeah, <laughs> artifact. <laughs> 
like are I thought it was creatures. creatures. Oh my like, god! Like, there like, equipment. There, there were also equipment. Yeah. Equipment yeah. was introduced. Yeah, yeah. ridiculous. Like swords, swords and boots and, so, and so, armor. So when you say like affinity, <laughs> that, that I still have PTSD of that shit. Dude, because <laughs> like <laughs> it'd kill you like turn three. Dude, I'm yeah. not joking. Dude, like on turn three, he'd like. Bring down five more things. It's like, oh, <laughs> so I don't have to pay the banner yeah. cost of these because so, yeah. every time I put That's... down one, it lessens the next one and yeah. the next one and, and the next one. And this oh artifact God. land, death by numbers. Yeah, there's yeah. so, so basically that's my introduction to magic. This is broken so in broken. It's and so then we came in during rainbow mode. My, Holy fuck! My, my, my <laughs> they talk it wrong as a joke. <laughs> My first and only deck was Bait and Bludgeon Precon, so okay. basically it's the Broodstar Precon. Oh, and, and the Broodstar one, which is like, what, like 8 to cast, and uh, the Broodstar is flying, and um, its power and toughness is equal to the number of artifacts. That's <laughs> bullshit, come Rafi, on! So, Rafi no and I way. are just yeah. shaking our so heads. As a late game uh, bomb, I can basically like... Uh, like send Bruce Star in turn five with like ten out of ten. Oh my god, that sucks. That's the worst. So, yeah. so, that sounds so broken. Like, it's, yeah, it's so broken. It's like, so broken. Separate from everything else, you can have out too. Yeah, That's and, the if you can, and if you're gonna equip them with with, uh, for example, lightning greaves, which uh-huh. gives you more like, power and toughness and. More um, no, like lightning haste. just gives you haste. Yeah, haste, haste and hexproof. Haste yeah. Attack on your yeah. the first turn. Yeah. Attack yeah. on yeah. first turn Christ. and uh, can't be targeted by spells or yeah. yeah. So basically, so it's, it's game over. And you come like, in with iframes, frames, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. And, and those were the time that Brewster isn't even like it isn't even legendary, right? So you can Dude, basically. <laughs> Put down more brood stars. Brood stars. The place of the brood stars. Oh my god, you. that sounds so broken. My eyes so bad, like so I'm broken. Like I'm new to the game, and I can see how yeah. broken that is. Already. So, dude, Mirrodin was the set that made me lose faith in my tribal deck because I was like, yeah. "Why the fuck run clerics when artifacts are that strong? You, you can't set up. You yeah, can't you can't. Up. You can't." Mm-hmm. Oh my god! I can't even and think they're... of like a Yu-Gi-Oh equivalent to how broken that is. Artifacts? Yeah, back. I, uh, yeah. I was. A, I was a young impressionable Raffi, like magic cards are cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, playing with this green deck that's like if you're green, you have no tricks. <laughs> like, you can make your <laughs> you can make your dudes buffer. Yeah. They're that's already it. buff, you yeah. can make them buffer. Yeah. And that's, that's your only it. trick. That's, that's, that's the your only one trick. trick is green. Yeah. Oh and my like God. Y- yung dudes mo pa, they cast like they they the casting cost is very late. Like yeah. it's like five to cast for a six six or an eight eight. Mm-hmm. And it's like you're dead by then. Yeah, <laughs> like, super dead. So the way I <laughs> I, the way I worked around this because affinity was so good. <laughs> oh I, I took a lot of search search your library for a land card mm-hmm. spells. Yeah. But that's what I would do like early game uh, pay to search your library for a land card. Just search, search, search until I can put down my card, my my big dude. And that's the deck. That's the whole deck. <laughs> yeah. deck. Search for lands, make them bigger. That's why I'm the Just most basic ass bitch. This is enough. Yeah. Yeah, then it turned black. You brute force it. <laughs> then it turned black. Oh man. So many fun stories. That's the base. Yeah, that sounds really was. broken. Holy shit. Hella broken. And they're I'm like, mad. And, and they're like, <laughs> They had zero to cast. There, there's this, yeah, there's this zero thing. To there are there's, yeah. there's this thing yes. called Ornithopter. It's a zero <gasps> two. Oh fuck that card! It's a zero <laughs> two flying. That's zero to cast. Yeah, that's stupid. Almost harmless, but like in an affinity deck, that's a zero. Yeah. Oh, then you, you have your artifact land. Now you you have one two. Three. That's mm-hmm. three mana you can cast with. Oh, put this big guy in. Oh, like, cranial plating. And then you give him a sword. And, <laughs> yeah, so he exactly. can fight back. Yeah, so he can fight. Christ, I can't. I can't. I can't start. Him. Yeah, yeah, it sounds it's, so it's very crazy. crazy. It's like yeah. bringing. It's like that episode in Samurai X when the guy brings out a Gatling gun. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't the game. This wasn't what we were playing. The fucking sword this is shit. shit. <laughs> What oh, the fuck, man? man? The only gang couldn't stand the chair. <laughs> and they're like buff guys too. And then he brought out a gun. <laughs> oh my god. It's the worst. Yeah, it's good. It's so unfair. <laughs> that shit. was affinity, wasn't it? <laughs> Bullet. This wasn't game. This wasn't the game we were playing. We were with the swords and the stuff. I love it. Magic mysteries. 
Oh my god! that's how I got. So is that gone now or? Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, how did mo- they... Like most of the um, artifact mean, lands were pretty much banned. Oh, it's just straight up banned. Yeah, you, you, you my artifact lands. I just found it out. And then like, they just stopped producing them. Sea of Sinod, uh, like those swamp. Really? Yeah, those are banned. banned. Holy shit! In, in modern, in uh, art, in vintage, yeah, in commander. Yeah. Holy shit! Like lore wise, how does that work? They make their own land. Yeah, basically. No, yeah, basically. Um, it's, it's like um, usually <laughs> artifact lands are like airships. It's like uh, and, and great shit like that. Yeah. What's, what's tech? It? Yeah, tech. Actually, oh, is it actually tech. guns? Dude, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually, actually guns. Man it's machines. actually robots. Dude. It's, it's, it's like gray matter. matter. Magic gray from the star. future. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The brute star is a robot. Yeah. The, the oh, idea of gray matter and nano machines is basically Mirrodin. Dude, Dominaria and like Mirrodin, they build tech. It's like yeah. they're mm-hmm. wizards who figured out how to make robots. Right. God damn. So it's cool. That's what an artifact is. Yeah. I can see how none of your other magics would work on that because they're not. People. Yeah, they're not people. <laughs> they're not living beings. <laughs> like, that can like die. in magic lore, there are wizards and there are artifacts. Terminators. <laughs> <laughs> Terminators. Yeah, you're not wrong. We're here yeah. for Jakana. Oh, did you know there's even a newer artifact type? Because there's equipment, right, that you put on creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now there's vehicles. Yeah, though. And yeah. You, you put creatures what? in the vehicles to yeah. make the vehicles go. Yeah. What? I couldn't mm-hmm. get behind that. Like, like. Uh, so it's like a lizard man with a sword and shield on a jeep. Do yeah. Yeah, so, basically. So for example, you have a four-four jeep, and you can <laughs> run over people. It's with not that exactly jeep. a jeep. Then yeah, he has yeah. trample <laughs> effect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so imagine a four-four jeep. But to get that jeep going, you put the lizard man in it yeah. to drive the jeep. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait. So you the lizard man can attack, it. but you can run over. So, so like you can protect your lizard man while running over people. Yeah, that is, like that. that is ridiculous. Like, like, I, I, can't imagine, cool. like a, I can't. I'm trying to imagine like the 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 wizard summoning that. Like, call yeah. forth. Mm. An automobile. <laughs> like, it, it does work in the fiction. And then yeah. no, but like the, the lizard man is. How do I use this? Oh, you crank it. <laughs> you crank. You choke it. <laughs> He's just slamming it with his sword. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> you, does, it, does it have batteries? Can you like jerk the key a bit? Dude, like, push it a bit. <laughs> in the lore, yeah, that's kind of funny. Like you summon a monkey. <laughs> Yeah. You, you summon a car it. and you give him the car keys and the like, like what like, the fuck is this like how would this work you summon a two 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 skateboard and have you the dragon ride it you're so the dragon how, how, oh my god did, how would this Sit, work oh, flips, no, he'd what? fucking fall on his ass dude yeah because he doesn't know he so, just wears he pushes push. with the wrong foot he pushes he, he yeah. pushes mongo <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice Oh man. Yeah, vehicles we're, are kind of problematic. We're right? saying, <laughs> like in Ixalan or in uh... Kaladesh. Yes. Oh, okay. Kaladesh. Because Kaladesh is like the steampunk. Yeah, in steampunk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Pretty dope, actually. But I couldn't get behind the whole vehicles thing. Really? Yeah. It yeah. sounds like a fun idea. It sounds weird. It sounds like dumb. I've is never. It, it's, it's not as like broken as equipment, in my opinion. opinion. For real. Because yeah. because your creature itself isn't attacking. It's the vehicle yeah, it's attacking. The vehicle attacking. And you need to use the creature to to, to, to drive the vehicle. It. So yeah. you're it's mm. you're building for that resource. Mm-hmm. 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 It's not as easy. broken. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Magic. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, there was a lot. I didn't of think magic, magic got that silly. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was all wizards and shit. No man. It's not just wizards. They're artificers. Who can build machines on the fly? Yeah, Ooh. with magic. Dang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we, we've been going on for this card game that's really old, dude. Yeah, for yeah, a long time. Fucking love Basically, it. magic. Ho- yes. Hope you like magic, Carlo. <laughs> MTG magic <laughs> trades good. Do we have a new EDH uh, uh, member EDH. in our play group? <laughs> Anything else happen with you, Rack Man? Uh, quite a few more things, but in the interest of time, I'll I'll save these for next week. Yeah. And let's yeah. Move on. Cool. Yeah, it's good to share just the magic stuff. Dude, the magic stuff is pretty yeah, good yeah, yeah, today. Yeah. And like, this was... Because we didn't meet last week, so this was what right. you, were, you guys were doing. Yeah, we're just catching yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just geeking just... out about them cards. Oh, mm-hmm. What about Mr. Post, you, Is it your turn? Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's your uh, turn. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, do you no, like, I thought, go? I, it's not that. It's just like, but um. I want to learn the game. I see. But then there's no time for that. Like, yeah. I still have to play fucking God of War 4. That's true. Mm. I still have yeah. to review Super Robot Wars X. You have to mm. video game. I can't uh, wait for you to open up your new pre-con deck and, like, just look through the cards, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you don't have to, like, because you don't have anyone to play with, like, at right, home. Right, right. 
like just looking through the cards is like a fun experience for me because I I, I still have to do that with the the free deck. Because right. like when when I play with Rafi, I was like, I have no idea what these cards do. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that pre-constructed deck I gave you though comes with two boosters. So if you come across any vampires, I can trade for no. Oh come on, I have a few pirates. <laughs> I can mine. Trade you. Oh. I'll set them on fire oh. in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, you like the fire vampire man? Oh, man. <laughs> we'll see. I'm just afraid to like spend the money on cards because I still collect. Toys. Oh yeah, that's you're drilling deep in the toy into hole. it already. You're really deep into the toy. And hole. I already fell in the card game hole once with the anime card game. Oh, but don't worry, since you have that one pre-con deck, you're good to play. Yeah, yeah. at least, yeah, yeah. Deal, at least yeah. I can you're pretend. Sick. I at least I know how to play instead of right. pretending like. Oh, top, alam ko yan. Puro lupa. Oh, gets you. Comes balik. Are you rotated fully clockwise? Top, de ba? No, no. I I know naman side way. Okay. So oh, at least yeah. there's that. And yun, yeah, like the similarities with the rules with Yu-Gi-Oh! But right. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a lot more complex because of how expanded the card game became. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there's that's alright. It's it's a lot easier to digest. Are there like standard seasons in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like I honestly don't know. Right? Or everything is, is everything is legal. No, now it's like it's different. The cards have changed. Mm-hmm. The rules have also changed. <clears throat> Interesting. Like the the base game is different now with mm. the new set with a new show, mm-hmm. and like the show actually follows the card game rules properly. Mm, that's good because okay. of the new rules. Because fuck the old show and like not following the actual right, rules. Right, right. Because like, it was absurd. Yeah, yeah. It was super if, weird. If this time wizard ages this baby dragon. No, that's not how in the card <laughs> game. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Yeah, it's so weird. That's how you tell the anime fan from the people who read the rule book. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, magic has changed too. Because, like, back no. in my day, there was, like, mana burn and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you accidentally, like, tapped your lands and didn't use the mana. Oh, they're blow. gone? It, Holy it, shit. Yeah. It, 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 it'd burn you. Yeah. It'll take your... It, 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 you'd get damage. No, yeah. Like, back in the day, if you tapped your lands, had floating mana, and you didn't yeah. use it up, they would blow up in your face. Yeah. You'd so, take mm-hmm. damage equivalent to yeah. the card. Yeah. But yeah. you still keep the cards. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 That still sounds insane. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And there was anti back then, right? Before the... Before the there there's there are rules in the actual rule book that, that talk about anti. Like you you're to supposed to put up a card. card. Yeah, yeah, card. yeah. Mm. That, that whoever wins takes this takes card. It, yeah. I, mm. Mm. That's like triple try. That <laughs> yeah, triple <laughs> that try doesn't man. sound fun. All right, so yeah, we've gone for we've gone for like about two hours. Dude, yeah, on we've magic gone pretty long with another funky mic setup. Good episode. We're not in our though. usual element. Yeah, yeah it's we, interesting. We are mobile trades. Mobile, mm-hmm. mobile trade's good. That's MTG. <laughs> mobile <laughs> trade. Okay, <I'll>, I'll, I'll <laughs> the MTG. The mobile <laughs> trade's gang. And then the, <laughs> the podcast photo is the Barrel Dragon from <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. Dude, Barrel oh, Dragon. The laser version. Or we're all in a Jeep. <laughs> we're all in a Jeep. <laughs> With the Barrel Dragon <laughs> behind us. Like, mobile trade. That's not bad. No, With a lizard bad. man on the wheel. Dude. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're we're actually, gotta make look stickers. at all these amazing art we can, you, we can come up with. I mean, we can probably <laughs> sell it next Dude, week. That could totally be a thing. We are going to, yeah. we are going to Comic Cat. Yeah. Next yeah. Comic Cat, yeah. 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 my Jeep and the Dragon. It's like Shaman King. We go out like Shaman King card, but not the Jeep. He's the one who's the greatest shaman. Oh, Yo, that's gold, dude. You better make it before this episode comes out. <laughs> Someone's gonna steal that. No. We can, uh, yeah, yeah. I can do it. It's Hugh Jackman you with know, the tiny ghost. You know how long I made the original Shaman King art? <laughs> oh, Five, minutes. Minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> All right, yeah, we've gone on about the <laughs> magics for two hours. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can find our episodes on YouTube right now. Mm-hmm. On the just look up Good Trades Brigade and. Yeet. Try to look for the chat. And hopefully, yeah, yeah. our iTunes setup will be complete once in a few weeks. weeks. Yes, once a week, month, two. Eh, no, 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 probably we'll make, like two in weeks a week or two weeks. Yeah. In a week or two. So it'll be in downloadable format. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch up. Yeah. The proper That's podcast cool. place. Um, From also, our here's a good tweet. If you like us on iTunes and leave a review, oh, we will not, you. Is it still iTunes or is it now Apple Music? It's now Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Podcasts. They rebranded. Yeah, they rebranded. It's oh, Apple here. Podcasts now. So here's a good trade. If you like us on Apple Podcasts and leave a review, we will love you forever. Yay! Yay. <laughs> That's a pretty good trade. Yeah. I'd take it. I mean, I love. 
Is for it? likes? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's one like, one love. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> That's rough. Oh, yeah, so man. aside from that, um, website is being worked on yeah. mm -hmm. or planned at least. Hopefully yeah. within the week or two. Which Hopefully. will have most of the things in it. Well, once mm -hmm. the website's once done, the iTunes thing will be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So iTunes will come first. It'll all come together. I mean, that's yeah. how I listen to my podcast. Yeah, also. me too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Symphony of the Night, Let's Play Archive Ooh. of the Stream is going up. Yep. It's gonna... I don't know when this episode will come out, but it'll all be up until uh, by the 17th. Yeah. Cool. That's two episodes a day every morning, cool. 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Nice. Featuring ball light. <laughs> featuring ball light. <laughs> ball light. Yeah, that's that's, that's in like three days. Right? Oh, man. Yeah, can't wait. Um, can't wait. If you were looking for episode 13 then, that's what it became. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what that session yeah, we, was. We played Castlevania. We just started doing fake Boston accents <laughs> for like two hours. <laughs> You'll get it. I'm sure you yeah, have it. I hope you get it. I, 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 I really hope it's still funny. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I hope to God. It's funny to us. Yeah. That's what matters. That's what matters. It was funny to Charlie. That's what matters. And we got the demographic later. right. We got... Yeah. <laughs> All that's left You had to be there. Our <laughs> target audience. <laughs> Let us know what you think about it. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry like, for the delay. He's like, our, uh, he, he's like our advisor now. Yeah. <laughs> Carlo, is he ball lightning? <laughs> Tell oh, us what man. you think. <laughs> All right, keep so, it going. Thank you for joining this episode, and keep it going, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.